the, the scheme of it was why he was a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, right. Because right. right. it was supposed to be bitch ass ness. Because <laughs> bitch ass, no bitch ass ness. Exactly. Puffy. Right. Exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. that was the scheme of it. Right. Well, when they started screaming, I'm. Um, fresh home from jail. Yeah, you ain't you yeah. ain't thinking niggas gonna scream and boo you, and you like yeah. there's a bunch of Philly niggas in the building, you're like, and, yeah. and your mind is like, you're like I don't want to take it nowhere else, y'all. Yo, these niggas is booing niggas me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you know, when the first time it happened, yeah, yeah. and these niggas booing, boo, every nigga that boo, yeah. I'm forgetting the it's rhyme. It's crazy. Cause that wasn't the rhyme. The yeah, rhyme yeah. was some other it shit. It seemed like you was freestyling a little bit. I started freestyling because I forgot. I'm like, yo. It man. happened to me a couple of times, bro. Nigga, I forgot the shit I was going to say. I'm like, this. I'm of saying course. some shit. Uh -huh. I'm like, and it's his nose. <laughs> 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 You see the bitches uh, know. You see the bitches know. I'm like, yo, niggas like, nah, man. That's yo. all. <laughs>
It's the holiday season, yeah. man. Damn. How's it treating you guys, man? It's just taking all my money. It's taking all your money? Yeah, you got kids. It's, a, like... mean, it's a mean hustle. Oh, they hustle you. Oh, yeah. time, I don't yeah. celebrate the it holidays or any type of holiday. You don't celebrate Christmas? I don't celebrate nothing. Wow. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm, That's good for birthdays. You but know, everything you know, else, I don't, I don't force myself. Don't, don't, it don't feel like the old Christmases to nah. me personally. It don't feel like the old don't, Christmas? Hell no. Hell, the, the snow don't even feel the same when they get keep it 100. Well, you spent five, five, five Christmases. Well, I missed four. Wow. Yeah. I missed four Christmases. That shit was weird as hell. Well, we glad you got home. Word, word. Go look at my boy. Word. Glad you home. Salud. Bless. Now, we don't know what you did. <laughs> Are you allowed to discuss that hey, with us? You know what I'm saying it's over now. You know what I'm saying um, I did a second degree robbery. You feel me, niggas? You know, niggas is trying to come up, but more so. Right. You know, regular street shit. A lot of people, right? When they see me, it was more so like happy smiles, good dude. I always was a good though. I kept that and I keep yeah. it to this day. You feel me? That, that's the vibe I always got. Yeah, I from. always keep it to this day. But, you know, when that all was a second done, you know, you got to go back to your regular life. You feel me? So it was more so I didn't have to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? No one has to do anything. You feel me? But right. it's which it's for you. That's That was me personally. Me personally, as a man, I feel like if I didn't try to make my own way, I'd be, I'd be some dumb bum nigga, man. And I'd. I never be a bum nigga personally, but right. that was the young man in me. Right. I, was, I was 22. Okay. I was 22. You feel me? Right. I was 22. Right. You know well, I'm glad so you said like, that part. Uh, it did, so, like, so you're 27 now. Yeah, I'm 27 now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't yeah know. I had this since I was 12, though. You feel uh, me? I met. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. but I I knew what was going on. I knew I knew I could have uh, got out of that, but hey, you know, life goes on. Like I learned from that. Right. You know what I'm saying now, I understand it's a different way. Then that was my only way. It's personally, that personally, that was my only way. I've been there. I mean, now it's like, oh, you got many other ways. You just didn't open your mind at that moment. You feel me? I didn't. Yeah, I so, knew so, I didn't. So, though. if you could give some advice to the young brothers that's 22 watching the show right now, what would you tell them? Patience. Patience. Have patience. When I was when I was running around in the streets with like niggas that it was like it was so crazy like. I'm thinking that these niggas is my niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some of them might, probably was. They probably had the mindset to be my niggas, but it was, we all was thinking the same way. And no one was thinking outside the box. Everybody was thinking, all right, thinking we might as well do this. Way. You right. feel me? And it was like, yo, you could come up a different way. You, you trying to rob plugs, come up a different way. You feel me? Be your own plug. Right. That was not in my mindset at that time. It was right. like, shit, this is the fastest way. Fuck it. And... So personally, I, I would just say patience, you feel me? Just be patient. It's different ways. Speak to different people. Network, you feel me? Like me coming up to New York changed my life on mm. everything. That shit changed my life. I met so much people with different mindsets. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it's crazy. That opened my mind, but at the time it was too late. I was too deep in. Right. So it was like, you know what I mean? Like what you really going to do? Like, yeah, you, you, you change your mindset, but you already two steps in here. So it's like, damn, you could try to... I, I swore on my life, bro. I try to fall back. Right. But it's like I was in too deep, my nigga. Like, yeah. no, no, no pun intended. It is what it is. It is what it is, my nigga. I'm saying so, but So um Mice, being somebody who did uh what was it, eight years? Seven. Seven. Seven years stretch. And him just coming home and readjusting. What what kind of advice could you give him? When I listen to him, like it's so many young brothers in the street that have that same mentality. Yeah. And, and, and doing seven years, when I did my seven, I, I actually did my seven for a crime I didn't commit. Mm -hmm. But I always say it's karma for shit that I did commit that I never got caught for that I'd probably be doing life for. Mm. So when I think about that and I listen to his what he just said, it's so many brothers that think we don't have nothing else. Because that's what we've been taught. We've been taught wrong for so long, we don't even know that. And Where do we place the blame? We got to place the blame on what we've been taught. And, and the reason why we got to place on what we've been taught is who taught it to us. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The reality is when you think about projects and you think about the communities that we come from, they were designed to do what they do. Right. They were designed to feed jails, to feed motherfucking um, um, 
Assistant. graveyards, yeah. coroners, like yeah. they, they were designed for that. Because when you look at our situations and you look at us, we think we don't have no other options. Right. And, and most of us say, yo, I'm a hustler, I'm a hustler. When you're a hustler, you can sell anything. That's a fact. You don't just got to sell drugs. Right. If you're a right. drug dealer, you just you can sell, sell drugs. Legal. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Shout so, out to my man Goods. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? He said that in the game. You, you start realizing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's one of my young boys that I watch and I look and I'm like, damn, I watch Goods. You. You one of my youngest. He, he gonna act like no, we not. <laughs> if we the same age, I'm 52. You 52? Nah. Yeah. Know. See, I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, he's one of the niggas that I watch just evolve after I came home, and we, you know, I seen him move. Mm. And what I'm saying is, when your mind starts to evolve and you start to get start to get in tune with different things, and people start to show you different things, you know different. Right. And when I listen yeah. to him, he's like. I was in too deep. You never in too deep. Right, right. The bottom line is, you always got an option in a reality to change what you think is going on. You are the control because a lot of times when people are following you, they see the power in you. When you able to walk and do shit and say, move this and move that, that right. you are you create what the reality is. And right. I didn't understand right. that when I was young. So when I went to jail and I was sitting there and I did seven years and could have been doing 14, and I kept seeing people that was 21 and 20 coming in with 30 and 40 years being sold the same lie that I was sold. And I said, damn. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm lucky to be going home after seven or luck, hopefully after seven not do, or 14, whatever it is, I'm going to go home. Some of these right. niggas ain't never coming home. That's a crazy Because they've been sold the same lie that That's I was sold. Right. So I had a that different mentality. That this is the only option. Right. That this the only, nah, it's not the only option. But that's what they teach you. Yeah. So when you start getting outside that box and you start seeing different shit, now I'm teaching schools that ask me, how aren't we able to capture the genius of Jay-Z and 50 Cent and brothers like yourself in school? Why they dropping out of school before junior high school and high school, but they're able to become millionaires later. Pressures of life. Because pressures of life and not and, and us not even identifying their attributes while they're in school. Now, us not grabbing on to what it is they, they're good at instead of trying to teach them some shit that they're not even even connecting to. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So when I understand that, I listen to them, I'm like, damn, we have to start teaching our kids that the reality is we can do whatever we want. Right. We not we not trapped into nothing. We not brother like I understand what you said. You know what's crazy? I'm not to cut you off. You know what's crazy? I knew that. You know what I'm saying? Subconsciously I knew that in my head. I wanted it to be my only option. In a way. No, it was funny. You wanted it's to funny. tell that story. It was funny. Cause in a way, I was more mature in my head than everybody I was macking with. And everybody yeah. was older than me. But in a way I was like, yo, man, I, I wanna be some street nigga. Because Not they, even no. I was no, because, yeah, it was, because, 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 I was like, no, it wasn't really, that you wanted. They made you believe made, that yeah, that was like, it. I'm Look, in the before I'm I went in to the jail. Program. They told right. us. I'm gonna say right. one thing. They made you believe that if you didn't go to jail, you wasn't a real nigga. Right. I was 13 right. and 14, and niggas coming home from jail, and they was diesel, and the girls like, right. oh, Fly. you the man, and everybody was like, oh, he just came home, and you like. Damn, that's what I gotta do to be considered real. They made you feel like if you, that was your badge of honor. Like right. I had to go through, nigga. You ain't real. You ain't never been in jail. Yes. Yo, te technically, um, there's some people who kind of gain. If you in the game, you gain a status when you go to jail. That is a all the way fact. Home, you're you're on another level. Serious bullshit. That's right. you? Nah, serious stage. Somebody's over there. She like, how the fuck that's, she that's turn on? Sorry, that's some wild shit. No, that's crazy. That's she different. Bug it. She hit a black man building. Wow. They hit a black man building. Look, they, they just crazy. trying to notify the FBI. Oh, my shit on silent. But we good though. Crazy. So I, I, I find like from young, a lot, you know, in the hood, we romanticize about being this, this, this kind of like hood James Bond character. Yeah. Where, you know, we on the low, we making things that's happen, what everyone we shaking look up things to. up, Quote, unquote. because this is the only way that we can get up. But that's, you know why that's, we see that? Because the reality is our first 
the vision of success is a drug dealer. We don't got no lawyers that next, live next door to you, right, and no I doctors. Agree. The first vision right. of success you see is the drug dealer nigga that got the BMW. Yeah. He got the girls that love him. He driving by. He pull up on you because he see you a young up and coming. Give you a hundred dollars. He come to the game. He he's buy, still in the hood. He's still in the hood. Uh, Everybody love him. He buy all the jerseys. He pay for all the drinks. He buy the food. He throw the block Shane party. To the store, he to the store. How could you not? He, how he could you not want to be like that? He got the fresh shape up, nigga. Shape up. Yeah. His sneakers always clean. Yeah. He might have a white t-shirt on every now and then, but he got a rollie on. You like, damn, I never seen no nigga that look like that. Right. It ain't no lawyers that live next door to us. Ain't no doctors that's telling us how to do that. So that's the only vision of success we know. Or we see a ball player that come back once in a while. He drive through the hood. He sit on the hood of his car. The girls like, oh shit, you made it. And we like. That's why we play drug dealers. That's why we. That's all we that. know, yeah. nigga. We trying to be all, one of those. Oh, my mom's so is working two, three jobs, and he's like, I can't work like this for the rest of my life. I can't but, be doing but, this. Let's identify him. why is that. All we know. We lost. Because that's Personally, what, that's, that's all you that's see. That's, that's we lost. Neighbors, it's proximity. That's all that's in the hood. That's our neighbors. That's Because when somebody becomes actually successful in the hood, they leave. But, ch- but check this. The guy yeah. that becomes a lawyer doesn't stay in the project. Exactly. He leaves. Exactly. The guy that becomes that's a dentist right. or a doctor, that's why. he leaves. That's why. A businessman, he leaves. That's why. Everybody with the drug deal or the The drug basketball drug player come back this front to show you that he got more than you. And you like, damn, I'm trying to get more. Either he, and either he got enough clout in the hood to where they respect him because he ain't trying to f- stun on you that much, mm-hmm. or he come back or they trying to rob him because he trying to make you feel like, nigga, I got this and y'all don't, or they robbed him and nigga like, damn, I can't even come back to the hood. So those are the only people you ever see that's successful. And mm-hmm. how many, and, and on top of that, how many people you see as dentists or doctors that come out of the hood? It's a fact. No, that's it's probably not, they all, but you just don't probably. see them come back. No, they never see them. They just don't come once back. they get there, they gone. Bro. They don't come oh, back. Oh, I asked you, how many do you see? We in don't. The hood. None. My whole, that's my point. You says probably None. a whole lot. I asked you, I see. I asked you, how many do you, you see? see? That's what exactly. I said. I never visit. saw a doctor come out the hood, or yeah. like I, I don't know a hood I was in, and it was a doctor living next door, anywhere around my vicinity, or what? a lawyer, or a dentist. I don't know, but I can tell you. But I can tell you a basketball player that came in my hood. I can tell you, I can see a drug dealer that was getting money in my hood. So. He's saying that's what we see. But don't you, we, don't so we don't aspire to what we, we see, man. It's proximity. Right. Think about it's it. And that's why I want to change the mentality. That's why I do what I do. That's what I do. There we go. Yes, that's what, right. what you're about to say makes... I feel that's like what I, I do what I do, and I tell niggas all the time, Because I think man. it's about the generations, too, right? Where do we stop it? Because it's like, if our parents' parents wasn't teaching us to do that... Then we can't expect it to change, right? No, I, I'll be so honest with you. Us here, when you have kids, you have to make it your priority right. to embed those those no. ideas no. in your children. No, 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 no. But hold like, on, hold on, hold on. Here's the difference between our generation and this generation that's coming up. They got these phones mm-hmm. and they're in contact with the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like my son don't have to know shit about the hood. You don't? But he knows what's going on in China. He knows what's going on in London. You know, you know what I mean? Like he, he's in contact with people all around the world because of these phones. But the only problem with that is, Math, I want to say is, the when you, problem too, okay? it is because what I say all the time is this: these kids are judging their whole life based on the best sixty seconds of somebody else's life. Mm. Oh, you're talking about social yeah. media. But that's the phones. Because you go on the Facts, phone, you go on right. whatever yeah, it right. is. They get depressed. The niggas get the depressed they and they're like, damn, damn I don't yeah. got this. Yep. Right. A nigga done sh- went by a car to ate his with some money in his and took a picture and put it on Instagram. And your kid is like, damn, Lord, I'm, I'm losing, man. Yeah. These kids, look, yo, if you listen to the music right now, it's, it, the kids want to either commit suicide or take drugs. Op. Or like, kill oh, somebody. Op, they I'm so, like, it's like, damn. We always, I, we we always gravitated. But we always kind of, yeah. We, gravi- we gravitated to violence. That was cool. Right. My but we song, never just want, because right right. I know, I, right. listen to yeah. me, I was in jail. Right. And niggas like, yo, that was my shit. I know I'm the reason for, by a lot of niggas from 1999, 8 to 99 was in jail. Because they listened to that shit and went out and wanted to shoot a nigga. Because they had a gun in their right palm. And I'm I can, not going to lie. And I can admit that as I'm, a man. I'm not going to lie. 50 Cent. 
He asked I was turning shit. up. Yeah. I was turning but up. But that's son. just the reality. <laughs> so it, was, it was 100 miles by hour on go, nigga. But that's cent. why when you look, think about it, and you think about the Juice Worlds and all this, and I was listening to Juice World interview, and he said, yo, when Future made Dirty Spray, and I was 11, I wanted to just, I wanted, I had to figure out where I could get some lean. He was 11. How old, how old is he now? He, he was 20. 20, 20, 20 when he died. 20. 20. No, he was 20. 20 years old, my nigga. So you got to think about it. That's how influential this music is nah, we make. Yeah. So I understand that reality, man. Right. We, and right now, when you look at these kids, most of the music is about suicide or drug use. But 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 here's no, the issue with all that. That's crazy to me. But how many niggas talking about killing themselves? How do you beat? You talking about killing somebody else, but you want to talk about killing you? Yeah, that's the you're new right. Wave. That's you're the right. new wave. I'm, I'm, but but I'm even then, before. it's not like it was any better back then. Because when we look at yes, music industry, they was paying say. niggas. Yes. Strictly to talk about killing your brother, selling yes. drugs to your I'm brother, and all of that. But listen to me. But listen to me. And the murder rate would go up. I'm not. Listen to me. I would not dispute that. When nigga was telling me to kill somebody, they made me feel like he was my enemy. Yeah. When I was trying to, when I was hustling, it made me feel like I was gonna get money to change my circumstances. Right. Yes. Right. How do you convince me to kill myself? Yeah, nah, that's different. Uh, I, how do you convince me to take drugs? And that's gonna make that's me kill gonna myself. Make me kill because myself. the person that, I idolize does it. That's the person I look up to. Yeah. But that, that's what I'm trying to say. When people are like yo, is it, it's not no different. I'm like yo, I, I maybe it isn't, but I can't fathom. You, you, or anybody telling me I'm gonna take drugs and I'm gonna want to kill myself at 11 and 12. These kids are thinking about suicide at 12 and 13 years old. Well, I don't think suicide is new. I think it's now not, it's a little yeah. more. I'm saying it's new for like, me. Like spoke about. Because no. I never, I never had a conversation. Yeah, never, yeah, None of the niggas you, around you, me was right. talking about suicide. We talking about getting money. We talking about because getting bitches. Because it was shame on that for a very long Hell time. Yeah, it, it was right. shame. Like how many niggas do you know that committed suicide? Yeah, you, you, How many niggas you know that committed suicide? I don't know one. No, I had a no, friend commit suicide. I, 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 I'm telling me, I don't know yeah, one. I, I, I don't know. It wasn't a reality for me. I'm not but saying. You, yo, yeah. hold on. What I'm saying is, what, what you, you grew up in Long Island? Yeah. Y'all grew up a little different, bro. Than, I'm sure Long we Island's did. Not, y'all stacked up on each other. Our no, houses no, a little yeah, further apart. Yeah. No, so that's the that truth. Because Long Island is totally different. It is. Than and you come you Long come outside. You see the role models in your house. I believe that. I can believe in Long Island. You probably grew up next to a doctor or a dentist or somebody that made it successfully from your hood that wasn't a drug dealer or a basketball player. I don't because remember too many different doctors, it was. but it is definitely different. It is more spread out. And it's, I think the fact that exactly. when, when I come out here and I see y'all stacked up on each other, I'd be like, I couldn't live like this. No, but here's the thing. I'm just saying, <laughs> to me, it, it just no, right. it it just seems, no, I, that's what it feels said, like. It feels that's like real. somebody's here, it somebody is. here, there's no yard, no I can't go play, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we don't have none of that. We don't have a yard. Like, they got, you know what's crazy? Like, when I hit a yard, I think about jail. I don't think about jail. No, it's a yard. Yo, you're like, you're crazy. Yo, you're like, 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 they got one high school that you can go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, you see these conversations we having right now? I feel like I see ourselves having these conversations over and over, even on the show, like just here. Yeah. That, so I'm pretty sure this conversation is being had everywhere, everywhere. around yeah, the yeah, world. Yeah. But the thing is, what now, right? Listen as I talk about it. That's why I do love things that people do, like and and how you try to give back and change things. Right. Because it's like we can sit here and talk about the shit all day, how music influences kids, but what are we actually doing for the kids? I mean, well, right? I, I, like, I gotta admit, it's not just just the music. It's the society that, that kind of influences the music. When I was young, I was tall for my age. And to the police, I looked like a grown, a grown man. man. And I could feel the tension when I was around police officers. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it was like a, a, you, you were a threat. Right. And you watch TV, you watch these court shows, the face that looks the most like yours is usually the criminal. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So it, it, it's more of you get demonized and you kind of like want to push back. Because for me, committing crimes wasn't just about 
oh, we need to feed our families. It was like, yo, fuck these cops that keep coming around yeah. fucking with us. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They keep telling us we rebellion. fit the description. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They keep telling us we can't walk down the block. We got to stop and spend a half an hour doing what you say mm -hmm. just because you felt like it. And then, right. okay, you you done, all right, all right, now we got to go on away. So so that was kind of kind of part of it. So I wouldn't say it's just who you see outside. It's not just... It's like a rebellion dealer. type thing. It's not, like, it it's not just a drug dealer. Because you're a drug dealer to these cops. Or, drug, or, or the certain, or yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. They're already looking at that, you like, yeah, I, you got already you. I got you. I got you. And in your mind, you're like, out. I hate that. Mm -hmm. we'll but because you. of that, I want to yeah. bang back. But you know what's crazy? You know what I, mean? I swear on everything, bro. But that, being downstate, I'm here like, you, you already labeled already like criminal. You know what I mean? Like, boom. Race is going to be already on you. You're a criminal. Boom. Even if you a good nigga in your head, I used to walk the hall, bruh. I'm like, damn, I'm, I personally, I'm, I know I'm a good nigga. Right. As soon as I, get the fuck over there, nigga. Like, what? What you about to do? Get your shit broke, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. you know what I mean? You got to fall back. But you in your, in your head, I know personally I'm a good nigga. Like, damn, like, you just like disrespecting me like that. Why you treating me right. like that? Right. But you don't, I don't got my bio written on my face, so you don't know that. You feel me? You just see... Nigga in a tan walking, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you ain't walking closer to the wall. Like, I'm about to break his shit. Right. Damn, so, you know what I mean? So, it was either, it was really like you really had to sl get slaved in your head. You feel me? Like, so damn, I have to. Like, I like, gotta do this. You have to. You hear that? You gotta be a slave. You have to take be a slave. Like, I gotta, gotta take, take this shit. You feel That's me? That's the worst Dude, part of my you, it Oh, you ain't making that shit out. Oh, you ain't making That's it out deep. on everything. If you making it out, bro, you gonna have bum teeth, my nigga. I seen niggas leave with bum shits because. They had that much pride to be like, man, fuck you. Say that and one it, word, man. It's like, damn. Out. And it's crazy because it's like, damn, I can't even sit back and tell you, like, yo, listen, bro, like, you don't got to talk to me like that. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm really a good yeah, dude. I'm a man, you feel too. Me? I would never disrespect. They spitting straight in your face. I never get that. They are never, I, I never gave them the satisfaction to do that to me. That was the first time in my whole life, my nigga, I've dealt with racism. You feel me? Like, niggas yeah. really got, really calling you nigga in your face. Like, I never dealt with that. And that was in me? the system. And that was in the system consistently, though. My whole, every month. I, every month I heard nigga to me. You feel me? So it was like, right. damn. Right. What, like, you can't even do anything. I'm walking as a worker. It's tough. You feel me? Like, boom. Niggas, a uh, couple of the CO niggas, they peep my battles. They're like, yo, give me a little special treatment. Come out. You feel yeah. me? Come uh, uh, put these put these whites on. I'm like, damn. I don't want to be no nigga boy, but... Man, let me move my feet, you feel me? Mm. Move my feet. Get, get on the phone, talk to my family a little extra. Mm. They don't give a fuck what color you in. You, I'm in all white. All right, yeah, you a worker? Nigga, boy, come be, you know, it's crazy. That's just, you just it's crazy, just my nigga. It. That was the first time I ever dealt with racism my whole life. I really felt like that shit grew me the fuck up. Yeah. I really felt in my mind, young boy shit, in my mind, I, I was grown. I had a whole leadership, had a lot of money, I did all this, fucked a lot of bitches, I was doing this, I had niggas running behind me, all that, but it went out the window. Word up. What September 9th, like? that shit went out the fucking window, my nigga. And September you was a, night. like, you was a nobody. Word up. You was a slave, you was a number. Was, it was your up. experience kind of similar to that? It was. It's like, you know what I'm saying, I, I got locked up in 1999, after I just got signed to a million dollar record deal, That's Chris Lighty signed me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting in jail, one of the hottest verses in the world. Supposed to have had the Divided Thing remix the day before I got locked up. Wow. So just was in the studio with Buster for um for um the Violator album. Me and Mace, I just did a shit on. So I just left the Super Bowl. So all this shit, I'm sitting in jail. And I'm like, yo, I'm sitting in a motherfucking jail cell after doing all this. All and, right. then these, and then what happens is you got these officers that want to prove that you nobody. Right. So it's, it's, it's a challenge. It's a battle between you and them. Either I'm going to let you outthink me or I'm going to be smarter than you. My man Omar right here can, can tell you. We was in jail for four years in the same facility with this one officer named Hipkiss. 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 The man used to purposely just come to me and try to do anything he could to pull me out of my character. And I wouldn't allow him because I was smarter than you. Right. I know what you're trying to do. You mad at me 
Because you never got nowhere in your life. You just right, mad. Right, right, right. And you sick because you some fucking hick nobody. And you heard that I'm somebody. And you want to pull me out of my character. So you walk in here, bang on my set, my, my fucking yeah, yeah. blocker. Walk in there, pull my shit out to try to make And I just look at you and say, yes, sir. Exactly. Is that, exactly. Is that what it is? Exactly. Because I'm, I'm smarter than you. Because I know I'm going home. You right. still got this is your gonna be your life, nigga. I'm not I'm not gonna let you listen to me. Trap ask me. ask mm-hmm. my nigga, yes, oh, whenever that man came on, I like I, I said, who's on? They like, oh hip kiss, I'm, I'm going to my my yeah, cue. I'm I'm, I'm good. It's over. Yeah. That's that's real. Well, he, drive me crazy. I'm good, know good, my nigga, because right. I don't have to Fact. deal with you. The bottom yeah. line is if you here for eight hours, right. I know right. I gotta do it the next three or four years here. I'm gonna let I'm not gonna let you pull me out of my character. I'm not gonna let you say shit to exactly. me that make me because I already know what you're trying to do. So the bottom line is, I'm smarter than you, and I'm gonna do more than you when I get out of here. Exactly. Mm. So I had to, I had to play it like that. I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna let this. Nobody nigga pull me out of my character. I know who the fuck I am. He never did nothing exactly. to make you nothing. almost lose it. If you put exactly. your hands on me, then, yeah, that's, then different. That's, that's a different story. Different story. You can it's talk, you in my face, you spit in your breath, stick. I'm like, okay. But, but they know once they put their hands on me. Because it's a moment. The yeah, minute you put your moment. hands on me, nigga, all, yeah, I, all it's bets is off. I can pretty much toss and you And it, it got to the point where the other <laughs> yeah. officers said, the other officers came to him like, yo, leave him the fuck alone. Exactly. Like, he ain't doing nothing to you. He a good dude. He come in and do what he's supposed to do. He doing his time. Leave him alone. Nick came to me and pulled me inside. Like, yo, I'm sorry. I know I've been doing this. Yeah. Okay. I don't fuck with you. Right, right. But I'm going to take your sorry because I'm going home. Nick, mm. I'm going home. I'm not here. I've got three more years here. I'm not going to let you pull me out of my character. So, Mice, you did seven. Yes, sir. Was there any, was there ever a time where you felt like, damn. I wish I made another choice. Oh, I mean, you always do that. You know what I'm saying? From the beginning, nigga, when you blow trial, <laughs> you sit in the motherfucking courtroom. I went to trial. Right. Because I, I went to trial with a case, two cases I never did. The shit I did before that, that's not what they charged me with. Right. So I'm in my mind like, I, this shit I ain't do. So right. I went to trial and they... And, and they found you they guilty. They found me guilty. For, and they sentenced me to 7 to 14 years. So when I'm sitting there... For what? For armed robbery. So you got less than that, basically. They, they offered me a year. And I'm like, nigga, I ain't this. So you could have said I'm but guilty. But you dig it in your mind, look. You 21 years old. I really old. didn't do this. Mm-hmm. I didn't do it. Yeah. I got a record deal where I just signed a million dollar deal. Nigga, I'm not going to jail for nothing. Right. I would never go. What? You crazy? All this money? I'm not yeah. doing none of that shit. Right. Right. You crazy? Your niggas ain't going to convict. They're like, I right, let them, whatever. Let's go to trial. I'm like, yeah, nigga. You got to prove it. They don't got no proof. They don't got nothing. They just saying, yeah, it was him. That's they it. Were, that's it. So how but did they actually they find They tricked me because what happens is they they sent they um charged me with two different cases from two years a year yeah, apart, yeah. and they right. combined both of the cases and just had two niggas pointing at you saying you the nigga that did it. Damn. So if you got a jury, they like, well, he had to do yeah, something. Two people were going to say he did yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. But they that's would. Crazy. But they, they come, and I'm like, but the crazy the thing is they would. They would. Is that so? That's the reality of the situation. So I'm ignorant to the law. I'm like, yeah, I ain't, I'm not going to what a year for what? You niggas is crazy. Right. So that's when crazy. I sat there and I in that cell after I blew that trial, I'm like, yo, this shit is for real. Seven to fourteen years, like. Damn. I don't know, well, it's either 7 or 14 I'm going to be sitting in this cell. Know. You, 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 you don't know, know what it is. Right. So when you get in that cell, you're like, damn, I could have made, I could have, that year look different now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that thing. year look you, different. You, you would have been out in a little bit of time. That fucking year look That's different. I'm crazy, like, I should have took this year. I'm like, but then I'm like, I'm just stubborn. You know how it's Tory. Yeah, like, fuck that nigga, I ain't do it. Fact. So if that's what right, right. gave me, fuck it. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do this. Nigga, when I come home, be better than I was. I'm going to be smarter than I was. I'm working out. Every minute that the fucking system, I don't do something, the system beat me. Every minute I don't grow mentally, mm-hmm. physically, or emotionally, the system wins. So every day I, I learned a new word. I worked out more. I, I got in tune with some shit I didn't. I learned about the law. Motherfucker, I got my license in doing all type of different shit. I, I went to, oh, I, I got, um, I got accounting. Ass. I got yeah. accounting shit. Because I'm like, I need to figure out how to do this money. Yeah. I, did, I was in the law library. I got my law library certificates. I did all yeah, the I shit got, that you need to do. Got all them wow. shit. And I'm like, y'all niggas ain't going to beat me. I worked out every day, nigga. I was one of the bar masters. The bar master, nigga. I was doing 30 sets. Yeah. I was doing 10 
to 12 sets of 30 with 100 pounds wrapped on my waist. So, so here's my question. What, what? Nigga, you wasn't we, gonna we, beat me in nothing. That's crazy. You know it's crazy. I, I, yeah, my bad. I was, just, I was just gonna say, what happened to your deal and all that while you was locked yeah. up and they, all they, that? They wrote me for like the last five, five, first five, like we're gonna try to get you this appeal. And doing the appeal didn't work, they like, okay, we're gonna let you out the deal. You know what I'm saying? I so that means you lose your money, everything? I got the money, most of the money oh, already. Okay, so okay, okay, they, okay. I didn't lose nothing. They really lost. Okay, so they're like, okay, then we okay, invested okay. a million dollars in this nigga. Yeah. And he's been in jail for seven yo. years. Shout out to Eric Nix, by the way. Shout out to E Nix, Chris Lighty. Eric Nix is my guy. I remember taking my demo up to him and him saying, You sound like my son. And I was like, What? <laughs> <laughs> that was my guy. I, yo, listen. I, he was riding for you, bro. That was he's my guy, my nigga. Eric Nix, right, well. good Thanks. dude. From the Thanks. beginning, he was there from the first day. He's had these hard ass jeans on I used to talk about. And now <laughs> niggas wear them all the time. These jeans. Hard ass leave while he was dumb hard. I'm like, yo, my nigga, why wow. you got these hard jeans? Dog, 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 hard dog, 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 well, not, not necessarily grateful, but do you feel like it was worth it standing up mm. for that person? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this 100. I got two different crimes that I was convicted of. And mm -hmm. um, one of them, I don't even know who committed the crime because I wasn't even nowhere in the vicinity, never seen them, nothing. I just got, they just put right. me through a lineup and said, you, you fit the description. I don't even know who committed that crime. But the other one, you know, um, I don't feel like it was a bunch of shit that happened that day. You know what I'm saying? It was right. a bunch of shit that happened. And I just feel like. I'm saying if you could rewrite yeah. the street rules for this situation. I can't really write the street rules because I'm, I'm a man of who I am. But, I don't want to rewrite shit. I want to deal at with it. At the end of the day, uh, these rules weren't written. Let me tell, let me tell you why I can't. I got to say this. Right. Because I know it's niggas that probably went to jail for shit I did, man. Mm. That's real nigga That's shit. Is, I, I got away with shit that another nigga probably got caught for. Right. And he had to deal with that the way I had to deal with mine. And as a man, I'm going to deal with it. Yeah. But I'm talking right. about when a nigga that you call your brother that you willing to die for and you look him in his eyes right. and a nigga betray you or cross you right. and you sat in jail for seven years for him, you start thinking about that nigga different. You don't think about what you stand for different. Right. You just start, start thinking about him. You different. start saying, "I wish I wouldn't stood for it for this nigga." Nigga, right? Because I know the nigga I was. I'm gonna be who I am. I don't. I don't. Did that happen? Of course it did to me. Wow. It did to me. Like I, niggas, it's niggas that I lost my freedom for. That I don't even. I wouldn't spit on if they was on fire right now. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't say yo. I wish I would have told. I, I'm never gonna tell, nigga. You. Never. You gotta live with who you are. I'm the nigga I am because I I stand by this 100. percent I profit. Like, I nah, never, I'm, I'm just I saying that's tough. No, 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 no. Let me tell you this. Yeah. I was. I listen to me. I profited off the streets. I was able to gain. I gained street credibility. I gained money. I did all the shit off the streets. Right. So I know what comes. What you mean? Mm. Niggas want to call you the realest nigga because you, you was in the streets well, and you was... What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. I, as a grown but man, I, it don't, but as, when you're younger, it does. When you're no, younger, it but does. But the thing is, yeah, that's, what I, that's what I, 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 that's what I aspired that, for. Because yeah. you kind of you you romanticize this whole... Yeah. This whole... Street. I'm in this. Right, yeah. right. It's it's an underworld. Right. Yeah, nah, you know what I mean. Like it's exciting. It's exciting. It ain't no underworld. It's it ain't no underworld. Oh, no. It I, got, is, I got mad drugs in the car. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cops yeah. just in the back. past me. Yeah, I'm yeah, mad. Yeah, like, I, I get caught. Everything. I just beat the cops. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Let me say one thing. When a nigga walk up to you, what the problem is this? When a nigga walk up to you and say, "Yo, you a real nigga. You did your time like a man. You did this, and you were standing." You 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 up, nigga, I know you a street nigga and you handle this. You take that. But how does it but do, but do you care well, you about can't, that? But you do. Yeah, you do. You do, you do that. Right. But, but you it? can't not care about it now because the consequences come. Like the Kashi and the rest of these sucker yo, ass niggas. Listen, they be like, yo, right. the streets admit. Nigga, it wasn't a myth when you were saying I'm the gangster nigga in the world. Right. right. 
when so, everybody's paying you because you was a gangster, when niggas giving you a punk, but but so how, like, would so you how would you do feel? twenty years right and you know he did it? You gonna do twenty years? You got a child? Hold on, hold on, wait, I doubt it. I doubt it. This, 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 this gonna be a negotiation. Wait, it's gonna be a negotiation. Hold on, it's gonna be a negotiation. Yes, I'm not getting that though. You're not getting that though. That's the thing. You gonna do twenty for I? You're not getting it though. Let me say this. Let me say this. You're not going to get that. If me I go into something and I know what I'm going to do, yes. Okay, that's different. That's different. Together. That's different. Right. I feel like that's different. No. You, you committed well, the that's crime. That's not what we're talking about. You committed it. What? So you, that's a, you get bagged. You get bagged something for something you did not do. You know, you know he did, did it. it. What happened? I didn't say your goods. I'm about hey, to blaze this nigga. I'm going to highlight wait, wait. It's gonna, He bounced. Honestly, catch a body. Honestly, going to go back to what Mike said. I didn't if, say that. There's a bunch of things before I probably did. And if I was on the streets and I did a bunch of shit before, I was in the streets. I wasn't a civilian. Right. So, yes, because that's the code I'm living by exactly. about being in the streets. So, yes, I'm going to do the time from even though I know what he did because that's what I'm living by. Right, right. If I'm a regular civilian, that's different. No, I, that's why I'm a regular civilian that just live. I don't, they, they not snitching. They're civilians. They telling the truth? If, right. Now, gangsta snitch, right. civilian no, tell no, the no, truth. No, no, let's clarify. Snitch, oh, oh, oh. snitch. And, and you I, did street work and then you told. You right. should have never did the street work. work. You knew what was coming with the street work. Exactly. Right. Now. I agree with the fact that if you do you a crime with streets, somebody, yeah. you should snitch on that person. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, you, you went into that knowing that you know was going to do some part. stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Niggas tell their part and forget the other part. If you're not involved in any type of organized crime, you just a kid that hangs out in the streets, you can get this confused. Mm-hmm. You right. can you right, can right, feel right, right, like right. oh I because you won't see that part because you yeah. won't see the jail part. That's the thing. Right. You just see know. all right. Look, look, bro. This is what we about to do. We about to look, son. Check this out. We about to hit the link. Do this. We going boom boom. Hit the car. You gonna get your bitch car. You heard? We gonna do that. They never tell you. We hey yo, look, look. If we bro, get look, caught, if we get caught, yo won't say nothing, my nigga. They never tell you that. All they tell you is. Boom, I know it's 10, 10 fucking we bands good. in the wall, my yeah, nigga, we good. Yeah, yeah, for the yeah, month, yeah. But we got to hit them other poppies. They never tell you, hey, yo, but look, when them cops, if them cops come, bro, yo, you better we, not say nothing, You're doing bro. 10. Yeah, right. you're doing 10. They ain't never tell you what, they, they how much it really you. is. You don't know the consequences you that come with it. Never. Yeah, you but if, if right. you're going to educate yourself. You now, when you're young, though, a lot of people don't know think about jail. Yeah, I the, think the, a lot of dudes, part, when they're young, they're not thinking about see, going to jail. this is the bad part, right? When they do a people crime. People get excuses for their fucking ignorance, right? It's like, it's nobody's fault that you're a dumbass. You, I don't care how you grew up. I, by the age of five, I knew if you did some stupid shit, you got locked yeah, up. Yeah, it was called time right? time. Why? Because my brother did time, work. my cousins did time, people across the street did time. I knew if you did something stupid, right. you'd get locked up, right? right? Now, when people be talking about all this, man, if you a snitch, you a pussy, all that, ah, whatever. That should be out the window because I'm a grown-ass woman. Right. Any person who does a crime with a group of people is stupid already. If I'm going to shoot somebody, you're not going to know I did it. So right, I just right. feel like exactly. nobody's going to, I'm never going to take the rap for somebody else because I'm never going to be present when you're doing some Facts. stupid shit. Uh, yo, and I'm never going to have you present when I'm doing some stupid shit. So gangsters smarten the fuck up and then you won't right. have to be a snitch. It's, it's better. The reality is that we can't even say we're no, talking no, we're too it's, gangsters. It's a little no, annoying. No, 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 like, no, no, the the street calls. Let me tell you something. Let me tell the you what it's about. Let me tell you what it's about. Let me tell you As soon as you get locked up, they forget about you. I hear you. But it's not about street shit. Let's get the basics. It's about integrity. I don't give a fuck if you work at IBM, if you work at the deli across the street. If you engage in an activity, right? That's illegal. That's illegal. Yes. That can get you fired or whatever. And because you don't want to deal with the consequences of your own actions, you tell on somebody else that there's something else. Right. Well, I think that's wrong. It means you don't have integrity. Absolutely. 90% of these niggas ain't telling because they just think it's the right thing and they're not in trouble and they just like, you know, it's the right thing. My heart is hurting. <laughs> they telling because the niggas saying if you don't tell, you're doing 20 years. Yeah, don't I even think that's understand. So I'm going to tell what the other nigga did so yes. he can do the full extent of his time um, because I, I don't want to deal with mine. Yes, I agree. That's that is because wrong. you are weak. 
And right. you're a bitch That's ass. Yeah, yeah. Weak mind, weak mind, weak heart. That means you are weak Them in mind and body. You are not less. prepared to deal right. with your own consequences. So you want to see someone else deal with the full yeah. consequences of their own. Right. Theirs. Right. That's weak shit. Yes, That's what right. I'm talking about telling. Nigga, you, you right, telling, you're not telling because you're a good person and you change your life yeah, around. Sure. They, didn't, you don't, they didn't catch you doing nothing. You just came forward and said, you know what? This was just wrong, and I just right, went to, right. I went to church now. No, nigga. They told you if you don't tell, you do a 20 for the shit you did. Right, and you right. said, you niggas is weak. Nah. Yes. And yes, you yes. said, nah, I'm not doing 20, so I'm going to tell what you did so I don't do my own. About? Okay. Agree. All right. So what's the end game benefit? It's no benefit. There's no end game benefit. Get the fuck out the streets, right. nigga. Stay on the sidewalk. Right. Yeah, right. It ain't but no benefit. That's, that's, Correct. That's not going to happen, though. So the the bottom line is you gotta take this to me. You either gonna take the time or you gonna be called a rat. Don't tell me I can't right, call right, you right, a rat. Right, 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 right. You, you are. Right. That's it. Oh, I'm gonna call you. Live with this. No, 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 no. Twin, twin, twin. I want to ask you this though. How do you feel that you did seven? Yeah. Right. Then snitch. Yes. For a nigga, another nigga. You know that did. You yeah. did snitch and you come home and it's niggas that snitch that's getting the same respect as you. Mm. The bottom, they can't How never. There's no niggas getting the same respect. I never seen listen to me, listen to me. Nah, I'm gonna tell you this. That happens. Wait, 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 they get glorified. I understand what you're saying. They get everything you get. They get glorified. People still look at them like people still like Takashi gonna come home in July and still sell money. He's a punk. Back in the day, even if he is a punk, you know how it was back in the day. Yeah. If you snitch, you was fucking. You was out. You was dead. You was dead. You could not live here. Period. You have to move out. Now, if you snitch, you you gonna get fucked. Period. 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 Nah, I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna come home and still be the king. I knew that's what he was doing. That's but that's the bottom line. No, I'm trying. Right. But it's not. Period. But I'm trying to tell you, it ain't. It just looked like that. I'm yeah, trying to tell you respect. because it's a lot of niggas. Same. That's official niggas that's coming up to me like, yo, we don't fuck with that nigga. Mm. Right. We don't fuck with him at all. And the bottom line is. It's not about what you do for another. Like, I don't. I never did nothing no, for no, no for, for anybody no, else. That's right. what it is. Right. Because right. the bottom line, I'm a man on my own standards. I have my own standards of living, nigga. I listen to me. I profit off these streets. Right. I did shit that if a nigga would have caught me, I'd have probably did more than seven to fourteen years. So what I had to do is chalk it up to karma. And, and whoever don't do what they did, you got to deal with that, my nigga. Right. But the bottom line is I'm going to call you what you are. Right. And you got to deal with that. However, you want to handle it, I want to deal with that also. Right. You a rat. You not, we not, when nigga try to put you in the same category, I'm going to separate us. Right. No, yeah, my nigga, right. no. This is the difference between me and that man. <laughs> right. I'm going to let you know it's the difference. Now, whether you want to deal with it or anybody else want to gravitate, that's on them. That's but it's a, that's a, and that's how I live. Yourself, that's, that's all I ever lived for. Else but like, good shit, back in the days, like, I know hustle. It was different. Hey, I mean, like, niggas. You could not hustle after that. And yeah. Then, but no. now, I know people that right. snitch and people still they be good. with them. It's and they not, going to jail in the next crazy. five years. Because they building a new it's indictment and they still work for the feds. They still work for the feds, though. I need everybody to acknowledge the infiltration. <laughs> there are snitches who get free passes to commit crimes under the federal government. Of course, watching them. That's how them dudes went down. Yeah. But the Takashi shit, homie was a money. snitch already. And they're just burning everybody up. Yeah, exactly. That's with the, with the, the Takashi shit, the homie was a snitch. The now, people that's fucking and everybody was buying from him. Now it was already I need, fucked I need, in the first place. I need place. you to come back and analyze the nature of what we're doing. If it's a drug. A drug, uh, if drugs is, is the crime, I'm selling drugs. Mm -hmm. I'm basically poisoning my neighborhood. Yes, you are. They said, you could do that if you tell me where the gun's at. It's like when we get pulled over, they be like, I'm, I'm not I'm here for the drugs, where the guns. Yeah. Look so the goal for me is, <laughs> right, right. you want the gun. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to get this money. <laughs> Absolutely. Burn this shit down and keep it moving but to the next. That's your morals. That, that going yeah, that's your morals. That morals. I can't. I can't Can sleep. I, I, wanna, I, I wouldn't be able to. No, sleep. no, no, no. Let no, me but, say but, one thing. I need you to understand that the, 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 but I the, get the, what the foundation, the nature of what we're doing. What I'm trying to say is and this. what these kids think that no, they're doing out here. My, 
man. This is what they think they're doing. They, they think that I'm becoming the man if you when in reality, yeah. you are perpetuating a game that, that was placed on you. On you. Yeah, yeah. Matt, right. can I just say one thing? There's no winners. It, it's no, it's no winners. And this is, I get flack all the time. They're like, yo, you want to straddle the fans? You want to be this political? You want to be this pro-black? But then you want to be this gangster shit? Because I say I'm gangster but woke. And what I try to explain to them is this. The reality of the situation is, if you tell these kids the reality of the streets, if, if we stop giving them back doors, if we stop telling them that you can be Takashi and you can tell and you can come home and be famous, niggas ain't going to be in the streets. If you stop glorifying snitches and you tell a nigga, look, the reality of the streets is you're going to die or you're going to go to jail. You really want to do that? No. You want to live in the bathroom for the next 25 years? Yeah, Nigga going to look at you and be like, I'm not trying to do that. But, but see, I don't but think anyone thing. thinks being a rat is a good thing. Nah, no, but, but you know, know what's crazy? Bro, but but this, after, this is what I'm saying. After he tell you that, though, he going to run into a next nigga. That's winning and he going to catch a star out of his eye. Everything you just said going to go out of his head. No, but it's not. But it, the thing is, it, it only go out of his head when you ain't as credible as the next nigga. Right, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel when, that. I'm as credible as the next nigga. When nigga have yeah. a conversation with me, nigga, the nigga you going to, I can look at his face and say, you a punk. Right, right. You lying to these kids and you just trying to profit off of them. But here's and the I smack the shit out of you if you try to... And I, I can do that. Mice. So when they look at it, when they, when they compare the two niggas, they're going to be like... I know what this nigga is. This nigga ain't. It's not. It's, there's no credibility in his message. But, but twin, here's the problem: the credibility is no longer in the respect or the honor or the morals. It's in the money. Mm. These kids are looking at who has the money. Uh, and that, and They're that not is, looking at real. who's the most moral, who's the most yeah, honorable. You're right. They're not like looking the at that. They're like, who has the money? Yo, listen to me. And that is the biggest thing. And that's why I go to all of these influencers that come to me. Niggas that's millionaires like, yo, I love what you're doing. I'm like, don't love what I'm doing, my nigga. Give me the same platform and opportunities that you're giving the niggas that's killing us. That's what I need. I don't Make me just as... as, as Cool and famous. Yeah. Put me on the stage. Give me the same amount of popular, money that you get. Popular, make me just as popular as those niggas. Yeah. Twin. And then I can compete. But they Don't just love me better. behind no, them. But this is, this is where I feel like... Whose agenda are you, you serving if you do game. that? It's not going to happen. But the thing is this. We got to... For- listen to me. It's Yo, listen to me. Happen. Listen to me. When you look... When you read the Bible, when you read all this shit, there is a day of reckoning when that shit happens. When the shit we say it ain't going to happen... Are we the niggas that's going to make it happen? If you're making a Bible reference, I can't follow you. Okay, even if it's not Bible. I don't give a fuck what it is. Any book, the Torah. You read what you sow, whatever. Read, the bottom line is, the last should be first, and that's the bottom line. And the first shall be last. And, and that's what we are. We right. are the last, right? And we have to say to ourselves, at some point, if we just if we just concede to say, yo, they winning, there's yeah. nothing we can do. Who's going to make the change? Nigga, we how, just going to keep losing. Right? How we I'm win. saying, yeah. boy, like, We got to yeah. keep coming, nigga. We, nah, got, we building an army every day you look. When facts. I watch these young niggas, yo, if you would see my DMs with these young niggas that's 15, 16, like, yo, you changed my mind. I ain't even in this gang shit no more. I realize I want to be like you. Like, I want you to mentor me. I All go right. to these schools, my nigga. It's te- like, I'm teaching schools. They asking me how... How, do, what do I need to say to these kids? Because they gravitate to you right. over fucking freestyle. The, so when you realize that you able to change the minds and the mind state of these kids, it's, it can be done. You can't, we just can't give and, up. And you know what's funny? By the way, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I want to say this. My son has one of the best freestyles on Funk Master. Oh, yeah, the realest. He was in Baltimore. There's not, and, you, I, and a lot of my peers have been up there, but there's not a lot. That I watch over and over and over. Seven point five million like views right now. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? That's how much that. <laughs> that was real. Check it out if you got the time. We'll put the link in in the description. And, but real shit. And kind of adding to what you're saying about the youth and everything, I read an article like the other day on the newspaper, and it was showing like some schools in the Bronx, um, the PS schools and things like that. Most of the kids between like twelve and fifteen, all ninety percent are failing. Like Especially all the way, black, you listen to so me. it's like these kids black in 2019. Males are the lowest graduation in the world, and this is we right have now. the lowest graduation you know rate Shout in the world. <laughs> so I'm, they coming the to me asking me, "Damn, we put your freestyle on, and they gravitate to it. How do we grab? How do we grab these kids? What is it about 
What you what would you have been able to gravitate to at their age? And what I say is all the time is that adults talk at you, not to you. Right. They talk to you from a place of where they are, right. not a place of where they were. Right. Right. What I say to myself, when I'm talking to these kids, I'm like, dear, what would you have had to say to me at 14, 15, 16? Right. With an iPhone, to grab internet, me? Yo, you know, I don't want, Instagram. I don't, want, don't talk to me where you already at. I want you to tell, because I'm like, when I was 14, 15, I, I was gravitating to a nigga that looked like me, that had a little bit of slang, but he showed me that he was on a higher level than me. Right. So if there's something that separated him from me, but there's something that connected him with me at the same time. It was, a, it was a lack of fear. Yeah, I didn't fear you, but I respected you. Talk to me like, yo, what's up? You're like, blood. Like, yeah, you, like a bro. Yeah, like, like a bro. We on the same. We on, yeah, you, we, you, you met me where I was right. at. And so that's me, how yeah. I talk to these kids. I don't, nigga, I'm not, I tell my son every day. He come to me like, dad, my son called me the other day. He said, Dad, I need you to invest in me. I'm like, what you need me to invest in? He like, I want to do this weed thing. I'm like, okay, so what you want to do? Something, he got a dispensary. I'm like, you 21, nigga. You can get the dispensary. He like, nah. He like, yeah, I want to get this weed. I got a nigga. He in LA. I'm like, okay, so it's a dispensary. He like, no. I can get it for this. And I got my man. He got, I'm like, no. <laughs> so listen, so I'm, like, I'm real shit. I'm like, yeah. so what are you, you asking me to invest in a legal activity? He like can't have this conversation over the phone, so I'm like, okay, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that. you know, you know right. I'm having a real nigga. Right. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking right. to you. I'm talking to you as a nigga that's trying to really save your life. Okay, cool. Right. But I'm like, the bottom line is, oh my man got the truck. He got this. I'm like, you know the risk and the reward because I, mean, you know, I've been doing this. Right, right, right. You know that. Right, right, right. And I'm telling you the risk and the reward. The bottom line is that truck might not make it back. Exactly. Mm, you exactly. getting in mail and they gonna make it all the time and niggas still want it all the time. time. It happens. You know how many times out of the law? Like I'm telling right, you, right, right. I'm not telling you some shit that mm -hmm. I think. Ain't I'm, no ten grand. I'm telling you what I know, no, my right. nigga. You gotta. It ain't no guaranteed money in this right. game. Yeah. Right. But if you get you a dispensary because they giving them out, you don't got no felonies. Get a license. You got none of this thing. I'll put my money into that. I could. I got elected officials that could connect you to right. this. Right. And he's like, okay. All right, Dad, but no, it's no but, my nigga. I'm not going to let you make mistakes I already made because yeah. I wouldn't even be me. Yeah, right. So that's how I'm talking to these kids. I'm Fine. not having a conversation like, yo, you can't get out the streets. Nigga, nobody wants to. Nigga, I'm trying to get some money. You right. tell me, like, nigga, if you don't tell so, me why to get out the streets, if you don't tell me you went through the shit I went through, then you, you're not even a credible messenger to me. And even give you the step-by-step -step of how right. to do it the so right when way. I have my and, for, and for the record, in New York City, it is not Decriminal illegal. Ones? To carry less than an less ounce? than an ounce, yeah, yeah. Two, ounces. two ounces. Less yeah, you than two, less ounces. two ounces. In New York City, wow. yeah. you can have on your person less than two ounces. Less than two ounces. <laughs> yep. Yep. And you're and, and you're okay. However, there's 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 also um the intent to sell, right? You can't, you you can't have it like bagged up. You can't up. be bagged up. You can't right. be driving, can't be smoking, up. right? All types of shit like that. Driving while intoxicated. Just so you know. Yeah. The more you know. <laughs> the more okay. you know. So right. the bottom right. line is. I don't, I don't preach criminality. I understand where we come from. That's all they've been taught. So for me to come to communities that only been taught criminality and just try to tell them to throw what they've been taught for the last whatever amount of years you've been alive away and just think what I'm thinking, it's the quickest way for a nigga to ignore me. Mm, right. I, I'm, I tell people all the time, I'm not trying to save the niggas you're trying to save. You're trying to preach, preach to the choir. You, the niggas that think like you, they come from where you, I know where I come from. And I know the shit you saying could have never attracted me. Mm. So I got to think about how do I save the kids mm. and the people from my community that I want to save that you can't. Because you don't yeah. even speak the language we save it. So when you tell me I can't straddle the fence, I got to be, I don't got to be nothing. Mm. All I got to do is save that young man's life. That's all I'm here for. I don't give a fuck about what you think of me or you think about how I'm... Nigga, we trying to get to the same place. I just got a different route. Mm. So when you realize you just do what you got to get do to get to that route, and I'm going to do what I got to do to get to that route. And then we're going to be better off. So that's what it is for me. It's like I've been through so much shit, and I really want to make a difference. But I know what a difference looks like for me. Mm. I know we got to come to them as this. When we yeah. come to the hood like this, and we having a, and they're like, oh, man, that's a nigga that punched a nigga in the face. They're going to come to you because they're like, <laughs> right. that nigga gangster. Yeah, fast. So when you right. come to them with some real shit, like, yeah, I did that. And so you know what it is. So now I'm telling you this. Mm. 
Like when Jay Z just told niggas hustle and this and that, and, and he locked you to the door with four, four, four. You use that credibility. You, you want list? Use yeah. that credibility as influence. That's that's all you can do. I, I speak to um teenagers in like um detention facilities and shit like that, and so. I I get them to open their minds to the possibility of the control you have over your own life and the options. And once they feel like, wait a minute, all right, he's saying he did this. I know what he been through. And he putting me up on the game right now. I'm at this age. I could probably make it here by this age. And yeah. it changes, they change their mindset yeah. almost immediately. Right. And for boom, did, like, did that do that for you? Like when you first got locked up and you had that mentality, now you spent five years, like what? Change your mind and be like, yo, I'm gonna come home and I ain't fucking with none of this. Nah, wild you know shit. what's crazy? It's like when I first, when I, like my first day getting locked up, I'm sitting back. I'm like, yo, what the fuck I'm about to do for five years, yo? Millions of views like, on I'm YouTube. With, like, I just I, last <laughs> week I was just battling Charlie Clips. Now I'm locked up for five years. Yo, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's Less say. than four yeah, days. I know, I know, mice. You was married. Was you married? No. Honey, no. come on. Damn, man. my nigga, what was you doing, son? <laughs> no. What was you doing, son? <laughs> that shit tough, man. He's making them Susie, son? Was yeah, you no, I wasn't. I, 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 oh, up, man. Yo, I ain't going to hold you. I was trying to, like, go months without. See, in New York, y'all got that, that uh, what would you call Conjugal it? Conjugal business. Yeah, Conjugal business. If you get, if you lose your marriage. Yeah. You dried up. Oh, you man. Dried up nigga. The whole time. The whole time. Nigga, you put the block up the jerk off. Hey, you, you, bring the gun in your head. Come on, come on. You going to jail. That's how serious it is, nigga. Damn. What you like mean? That, you put damn, they don't even let you man, beat what? off in jail. What you mean? What? What? Damn, what? That nigga, what? Sir, tell me. Yo, oh, you what? You what? Mean? what? So niggas was trying to kill each other in there, I'm sure. What? We would have died in there. Yo, yo. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. We got to get this straight, son. Shit, crazy. You locked up. Oh, it's built up. Ain't no up. females around. No, it's nothing but aggression, sir. You coming out of your skin, sir. Me. Nah, put shit. the block down. Look, my nigga, I feel like I want to fight if I don't go. If oh, I don't get some of the weed, that's how crazy it is. Niggas, so, niggas be ducking wreck just to be like, man, listen, I'm sorry, bro. Like, yo, don't come back, my nigga. Look. I mean, tell me who working tonight. Boom. All right, cool. I'm jerking off. Like, nigga, it's you really had to set the date, like, because if they yeah, catch you, you done for. Yeah, they catch you? You catch you? You, you can't put, catch you. Yo, you can't put a sheet on your You can't put the block up. You can't do nothing. Sir. Nah. Sir. That's different. That's different. Put, take the block sir. down, sir. Sir. Like, oh, I'm coming right now. You're oh, not no, that's shitting, a sir. That's type of hell, B. Come I on, come on. Come on. Put the gun in your hand, sir. I saw a little kid. She told a story about how um her hardcore poster. Like oh, that was, was that was that was the jail, jail thing right there. What? Over the little what? Kim poster. Oh, tell him that was the mad, thing in jail. No, that that hardcore poster. Mad, huh? Like you, you know the <laughs> joint where she's like, yeah, 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 of course. Oh, you ain't had to do it, fam. Yeah. <laughs> you just did. No, but you just did. Let's go get like a hundred comments. I just wanted to finish up like kind of like what you're saying. I was just gonna say that picture. I was basically saying like, yo, she was wasn't like what made you change your mentality? Yeah, she didn't even try to make pictures. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One of the Like kind of what made the hardcore picture was. Yeah, she was wasn't even trying to make pictures. She was just trying to get attention. She was just trying to get attention. She was just trying to get attention. In 96, 97, uh, she was probably Foxy like 18. was young. Foxy, Foxy was about was that younger age. younger than her. Yeah. Kim was older. Kim was yeah. older. Yeah. Nah, but what you were saying? Oh, yeah. Well, what, what really made me change my mindset was books. Like, I never, like, all right, boom. I graduated with honors and all that good shit. Mm -hmm. So I ain't really had to do none of this shit. I, I, I faked the excuse product of my environment. That was a mm. fake excuse. Right. But... When when I was when, like when I got downstate, I'm like, I ain't reading these big ass books. I don't know, like the the um what you call it. It was a book that stole my attention. What was the name of it? The um I think the Chinese guy uh wrote it. Uh, no no no. Mm. See, I, they weren't even letting you in there. You was going to lock up. You had that. Uh, That's crazy. Wow. Fucking. What is it? Fucking. Uh, it was something the 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 bro. About business and shit like that. It was something about that. Um, and rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yeah. I read that I read whole that shit. Yeah. Just talking yeah. about that. And I was really? like, damn. I didn't know. Like, I, I knew, but I didn't know how to get started. 
Mm. It was, that was my big problem with a lot of shit. So rap always came easy to me. But I never knew how to get started with like any business, business or anything like that. It's a very good book. So it was like, it is. damn, how to get started. It, it just broke it down, ABC to me, you feel me? Mm. And then, you know, being more confident in my mind. Like, I was always a confident, never getting embarrassed. And then a book, I read a, I read a, a packet. It was called Fourth Agreements or something like that. Fourth, that shit. Fourth Agreement. That shit good broke book. me down good and book. built me back up. I'm like, wow. that's crazy. Wow. Good book. Like, I know this shit. It's just like my, my computer needed to reboot. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the best you know what's ever was really book. Two books that you mentioned. So, the books you're saying is what changed the mentality? Uh, yeah, them books. It, the they, best they, book they, I they ever kinda, heard. They kind of awaken within you. Yeah, because I, I knew this, this shit, bro. This belief that you put yourself in a situation. Like, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is all about the risk the comparing. versus the right. concern. Yeah, they're comparing mm. the shit that the rich dad does yeah. to the right. poor dad. And you start the realizing rich dad takes the rich dad risk. takes risk. Right. Right. The poor wow. dad is worried about yeah. making Saving. sure yeah. that he's, he's holding on to yeah, something. But we all, we effed up. You know How what I'm saying? We, uh, How can we not hold on to what we... It's the same, you, you got, got the same life. opportunity. You got one life. That's Correct. what they tell you. They, you pretty much got the same opportunity with the rich dad. Yes. is going to say, all right, I'm going to make, make this shit make triple for my yeah, kid. Right. Right. The poor dad's like, nah, I can't. I, I can't. He, I can't. He, he, right he doesn't see do right the possibility you. of well, it happening. Yeah. It's two books I work. So it's more like programming yourself to to think to, like, I have the confidence to, that I can I make can do this it. happen, yeah. and then I don't have the confidence to make this That's happen. Wow. So I gotta hold right. on to right. this. Yeah. You know there's, what two, I'm there's two books I read. One of them is The Finding of the Third Eye by Vera mm. Staley. That shit opened my mind to. Say it one more time. The Finding of the Third Eye. And then, what was the other shit called? Damn. Is that what got you conscious? Oh. That shit, because you was a gangster rapper, yo, and then now you a conscious gangster not, rapper. For you want to? That's the. I think what it is. <laughs> it's it's what is what happens when you look at Malcolm X that turned to red, red turned, Detroit red. You understand know what I'm saying? To Malcolm, when people grow. So it's evolution. Right. It, yeah. I think when you when you find any because he ain't stop gang- being a gangster. He still had to join yeah, exactly. on by the, the window when they was trying to kill him. If you find him. any real gangster. The the, nat- the natural evolution of it is consciousness, right. because you just you got this energy and you like you that. a warrior like we warriors and if you, if you give us the right war to fight we are gonna mm-hmm. fight the right war. Real, right. When we start realizing right. nigga the war ain't against me and you, you we ain't, you ain't got nothing. Right. You know what's funny? Godfather <laughs> you know what Harlem says that exactly when he exactly. talks to Malcolm. I mean when Malcolm's talking to Bumpy, he like yo if we could get these gangsters conscious they can't fuck with us. Like they can't, because yeah. the gangsters are willing it's to take it there. Worse than so the if they get right. smart Knowledge. and they get conscious, they, they have the heart. And, and that's what the, the effort, take the risk. That's what the NOI did for years, nigga. They they cleaned up niggas that was in the streets, ready to kill, drug, all that, and they cleaned them up and they put them on their team. And them niggas became warriors. Mm. And them niggas will protect. Fair it wasn't afraid they, to go they at shit, it. They will protect it with their life. Yeah. Right. Those same values the they same, put on the street. Exactly. If you just channel it to a That's what I tell them. And they were like, yo, you the street, no, the street values, I'm telling you, street values will keep me alive. Yeah. It's the right. same values. We just gotta apply it to something Absolutely. different, nigga. Right. Honor, integrity, and morals. I don't give a fuck where you apply that right. to. Right. You're gonna be okay. Right. And a hundred My- uh, uh, most of the time. <laughs> You end up being more skilled than those who don't have those attributes, right? right. Yes. Because right. like yeah, the people yeah. who are like running businesses, they got one mentality, book smarts, right? right. Mm-hmm. But when you come from the street, you come from something you know, that you know, and, uh, and, and you fifty that, yeah. and Jay Z, right. yeah. and that's what I'm trying to tell. When you look, years old, that's that's a great example. Example. Drugs, when you look at, I tell niggas all, that's and that's one of the premise of the curriculum that I created for schools is like when you look at them, nigga, they. They didn't even have the education of these so-called geniuses. In, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you look at what's going on with LeBron, what was going on with LeBron and his team, mm-hmm. oh, they didn't have a college education. Yeah. So you try to tell them, nigga, they doing more than you. Yeah. They didn't need the, the education. They are intellectually smarter yeah. right. and above where you are. So what I'm trying mm-hmm. to tell you is we are naturally above where they are. Absolutely. Right. So when you give us the same opportunities, institutions that you give them, we're going to always surpass. surpass them. Correct. Always, because this is our natural attribute. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, th- Their shit is, has been, if you look through our history, 
the European shit has been prone to violence and taking over shit. That's not really an attribute. But I, I won't just say that because prone to violence, I understand. But when you come from um, harsh environments, mm -hmm. you're taught to survive. No, but I'm not saying that. When you look, when I'm just being honest. I just want to look at it. No, when we look at right the school killers, mm -hmm. right? My kids, kids that. Dylan from, Roof. Kids that come from affluent I, I'm not, background. I'm not no. looking at the school killers. I'm, I'm more looking at Alexander the Great. Yeah. Who are your forefathers? Where did they come from? What kind of environment? Were General they Lee and all of those guys that just come. What, 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 when you talk about people coming from the mountains, caves, where it's cold, what do you eat? It's no problem. Yo, I just have to hunt. You know what I just found you out? Become a warrior. Yo, Matt, but I want to tell you one thing. Grounds. Before you say mm. this, just like we are in these grounds, so listen, listen. and it makes us a warrior. Yeah, they became warriors in those grounds, and that's why they came down from the mountains and said, "And just started beasting." We taking all this shit. You mm. know what I mean? No, no, no. Now, I ain't never thought about it. But we have to say it that way. But when you look, I'm just saying, if you look at through our history, the same nature has con continued. But I just found some shit out, right? Because I just watching TV, mm -hmm. and they got some new shit called, um, I think it's nine one one Alaska, and they said Alaska has the yeah, highest yeah, yeah. facts. They has the highest like crime um, violent yeah, crime, violent, crime rate crime. per capita. Wow, that shit crazy. Alaska. Alaska. That's crazy. Alaska That's ain't nobody crazy. there. Uh, it ain't even no, nowhere, no, but it's cold there. No. It's Nigga, cold. it's angry and mad. It's dark. It's, 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 it's not no sunlight. It's not no sunlight. You gotta think. You gotta think about, about how, that about how that affects you. Like, yeah. 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 You gotta you gotta stay mad. Now, without the sun, you'll go crazy. You gotta think about how it affects you as a human being. It does. And we melanin people. We come from the sun. Yeah, yeah. In the winter time in New York, black people might not understand. We gotta Google that. We gotta find out what happens in the winter is, time, right? Because I wanna know if crime is going to be the But they say summertime is the, 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 the killing season? No, no. But we go yeah, through some, yeah, a winter house. depression yeah, because, everybody outside. because of the everybody lack of sunlight. Because that's, that's who we are. Right. There's a particular region <laughs> that does us good. We feel good in it. In the sun. And when this comes around. I'm not good with it. It's we don't feel good in it. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. It is, it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So. I think it's more of, I don't think that these, the school or the system really educates people on who you are, what you're supposed to be, mm -hmm. where you come from. They, yeah, they do. You know they, what I mean? A lot come, of people come, don't do find out job. what their history is That's without right. going to, to Ancestry.com. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And even then, like, you probably got to go to Africa, Ancestry.com. Uh, it, I'm it's about to set up a is. trip to Africa next year. I'll come yeah, with you. Know. I've, I'd actually, like to fill I've up. actually I've been to Africa. Africa. I have not been. Yeah. I'm, I've I'm never so been. mad because I was supposed to. I wanted to go for the year I've return been to this Rwanda year. Rwanda and Uganda. What? I'm supposed yeah. to go to Ghana. Where did you go, I actually. I was shit. teaching kids English. What? Yeah. Okay, okay, living a different kid. life. Okay, okay. okay. shit. Okay. That's okay. how you go to Africa. Okay, This is what I do. What? That's fire. No, you did it. I was there for like a month. Damn. Um, I'm mad at you. Yeah, I had to change wow. my whole shit. And I mean, nah, that's dope. That's dope. That, that was actually one of the things that like changed me as a person. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. I was Eminem to them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was fucking Eminem. That's all they kept saying. I'm like, why Eminem though? He white. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you kind of, you kind of like that. That's my nigga. So you like saying <laughs> you're cool like, to him. You know, right. Um, it's crazy because, you know, when people think of Africa, they're like, oh, like, you think of poor and yeah. all that. But where, I, where, where I was staying was beautiful, beautiful. you right. know what I'm saying? And I was just like, wow, like, where my first impression, I was like, what the, f this is nothing like yeah. what is on the TV. What's crazy. What's in the, yeah, of course, of course. Right, yeah. but had I, not, beautiful. Had I not been there, right, you wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known that. You, you know, I would have just thought it was dirty. You would have thought everybody there would have flies yeah, like on their yeah, yeah. They starved them. Right. They skinny. But it was beautiful. It's crazy. The people <laughs> were so, so <laughs> friendly and happy. And I'm just like, crazy. what? I and go. then I'm when I actually went to do the work, you know what I mean? That's when it got deep. Where it's like, okay, now I understand. Now everything is peaches. You know what I'm saying? Where the houses, like the clay houses and right. just... Uh, 
group of people taking care of themselves. Mm -hmm. right? This was through what program? Um, I was together with a program called Kuleba Exchange, and I did a lot of fundraisers um, to to just raise money to just go out and just do do work. Well, a lot mm -hmm. of it was teaching them photography, uh, music, uh, English as That's well, cool. and they kind of taught me French, which was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know French. Huh? A little bit. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Yeah. Well, you sitting next to people. Je m'en vais. 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 Je m'en Right with people, it was email. Right, so I had wow. a girlfriend, and I'm just like emailing her. It was weird. I mean, call you could call, but it was very expensive. Right. And it was like, I'm right, just, I'm just text you. Right, right. <laughs> um, I mean, that was great. When I got there, I was very self-centered, uh, very not conscious about those around me. Yeah, right. place. But yeah. when I got there, I think the the most meaningful gesture to me was when um, a kid gave me bananas. Right, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, why are you giving me this? Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what right. you need it? Yeah, like yeah. this is crazy. Like, you have nothing, and you're just giving me all your bananas. You know, that, and, and I'm that, like, this is talk. like I cried on the spot. Real like, talk. and then I felt selfish because you know, they're like, you know, we got to take a walk, and I'm like, well, how far is the walk? And he's like, that's oh, nothing. You know, it's it's gonna be quick. After an hour of walking. I was like, wow, this is not quick. Quick, right. This right. is insane. Yeah. 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 It's quick for them, but, but this is how they live. It ain't you walk five right. hours. To, yes, to but to me, I'm like, no, where's the cab? What is going on? Right. And then the people Straight I'm with is like looking at me like, you selfish you bitch. You bugging. Yeah. yeah, and I'm just like, bro, I'm tripping? not walking no more. So I was losing my shit, but at the same time learning like, yo, it ain't anything about like, that. Like, slow Enjoy down. this walk. Right. Right. Slow Enjoy down. the right. scenery. Enjoy what's going on. Right. The moment. And the moment. And then that shit blew my mind, right? I, mm. I didn't care about a lot of shit. Like, I, I just didn't like matter. Like phones, internet. None nothing. of that. Not None that. of that. No phones, no internet. It's real shit. Like, I had a fitted on. One kid took the fitted. And I gave it to him. I'm like, yeah, have it. Like, whatever. The next day I came back, another kid had the fitted on. I uh, left the next day, another, another kid, kid had to wow. fit it on. So I'm just like, damn, that's fucking that's awesome, shit. man. Yeah. I fucking I love it. They, you gave them some level of joy that they didn't have before you got there. And likewise, for me as well. Exactly. Right? So, so you be in the crib like, I miss the rays down and out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you be playing that shit? Like, like, you be doing that shit? Yeah, that was yeah, for real, for real. I, 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 just, I just thought it was needed for yeah. my growth. And I think that's, no, that's, where, awesome. that's where my growth Started like okay, sure. fit. Yeah. I'm going to Africa. <laughs> now we gotta show go. me what's I'm what. I'm telling you, no, next this year, yeah, I might, I might 2020, I'm, I'm setting up a whole trip. Right One of my homegirls that does like flights, she does all those shits. She's like, Yo, let's set up a trip to Africa. So right. I'm on it. We're gonna have to figure it out. I wanted to switch that. gears real quick, right? Mm -hmm. Um, as far as like this year, 2020, we know, I mean, next year, 2020 is about to be a big political year, right? And um as far as me, I don't really vote since Obama. Like, that was the only time I ever voted in my life. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, um, because I feel like, you know, us voting, what is it going to do for us and things like that. Right. I kind of like Andrew Yang a little bit because yeah. he's going to give us $1,000 every month. And I don't yeah. really know legalized much. Legalized weed? Yeah, and legalized weed, right? So, right. for you, you know, who's somebody who's in the realm of the, you know, political realm and things like that? We see Trump getting impeached. What's really going on in your mind? Like, if you could talk do, do to Black America, that? do we clap? For no, Trump? because we I got impeached. Is, is, is it real? Is it like clap? BS? Do we gotta go to the Senate? Is it just BS? Or are, are they feeding us some bullshit no, just to they be? They're not feeding us some bullshit. Like, what happens is there's a step. Bro. I'm a conspiracy theorist, so to me, it's, it's like all the setup. I want you to get is the reality of the situation is, is that we don't control the Senate. We control the House. Right. So the House has voted. To impeach Trump mm. because it's democratic, but we realize that the Senate, which which he has by the fucking balls, Trump is running. The when White you say he has by the balls, like what does that mean? It means that he's running the White House like a fucking the mafia, like a dictator. Like, 
No, my nigga, this is like yeah, nah. this is some You're shit right. that He's you have not seen. And the bottom line is, he like, yo, you with me? You with me? Who ain't with me? You not with me? Okay, we getting ready. Get fuck out. If yeah. you not with us, nigga, you done. Mm. And if you with us, and even if you get locked up, nigga, we gonna give you clemency. Right, mm. right. Cause that's how he don't give a fuck. He he running the shit like it's a business. Like, exactly. He don't care right. about none of this shit. Yo, look, he go on internet and he talk shit. He can't. He's like, eh, whatever. They impeach me. I'm happy. Yeah. Right, because I know I got. I, I know I really what I got. He, he just the dude wife got, and said, "Yo, he probably he's not looking at from, from heaven. He might be looking at us from hell. He don't he kiss some wild shit like that." Mind, so when I look at the <laughs> situation, still I still driving look. the car, my nigga. <laughs> when I tell people, he's still all the time. driving the car. Though. He is. It's like damn. The only people that can beat Trump is somebody who don't give a fuck as much as he do. If you care, you can't beat them. That nigga will. Yo, he go against his own party all the time. They be like, yo, you need to shut up. He's like, man, fuck that. I'm going on Twitter. I'm going to say what I want. Right. And I'm going to get these million people to, to back me. And y'all keep thinking. Y'all keep thinking. Y'all live in this political world. Mm -hmm. This little fucking French fry of a world. Yeah. And I'm going to show y'all the difference. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to see the difference. And he keeps showing them. And they're like, damn. It got to the point where they don't even question him no more. Yeah. That's why the Senate is like, yo, we're not going to vote against him. Because we went against him. We told him to shut up and do this. And every time he did what he wanted to do, the numbers spiked up crazy high. Because we live in a social media world. Yeah. So you feed the social media shit. You continue to feed your base. Mm -hmm. They're going to go with you. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We don't have... The closest thing we have to someone who's willing to feed their own social media base is Bernie Sanders. I tell niggas all the time, like, look, the closest thing we have to be in Trump is Bernie. Mm, so you That's think it. It's nobody else. Look, when I look at all of them, I don't give a fuck. They fought Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden, <coughs> all of them. Joe Biden is, is that nigga look like a pet. He look, he bugging out here. Yeah. <laughs> niggas is like nobody. But Bernie has captured the youth. He talk about shit that yeah. he care about. He say right. shit like fuck Trump. He say shit right. that gonna grab you. And it's mad. I'm mad because we don't have a black candidate that think that way. Mm. I'm like, yo, why y'all don't get? Fuck the politics, nigga. Talk to the people you want to talk to. Because right. they want they want to hear you talk to them. Right. And that's what Trump is doing. He talking to his base. He's like, yeah, they impeached me, so what? I'm happy. I know you guys got me. And they're like, yeah. yeah. But that's why we found him on some, Obama as well. Yeah. It wasn't only because he was black. It's because he went on shows, played ball. Yeah. He did. He, he Made taught, it feel good. He got, he got Jay-Z at his, uh, yeah. his joints. He, Not he, facts. He, he Obama was that us, dude. You know what I yeah. mean? And, and he like, made us feel, even, even though he did some wild shit. He made us feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. Comfortable. he was for yeah. us. From a familiar right. place. Correct. These niggas don't get that. They like, oh, we just need to be Trump. Are we Half the niggas in the street don't even know what Trump is doing. Right. Some people are saying that you know he got unemployment high all and all got, of this. They uh, hear this a word. They say, oh, he no, got unemployment low. Yeah. It's lower. No, I'm just saying what well, you know the, the total points get, and unemployment all that. Unemployment is definitely low because now black people get to get the jobs. Then the Mexicans you shipped out got out. Right. And um, is the, do, they, do the president are they like just puppets though? Are, no. it's like they can Obama, be. Trump. They really doing something. That's, they really just. Being a face for something that's already set. You 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 you're trying to get us canceled, bro. I can't. I can't. No, I can't. I dig what you're saying. I dig what you're saying. But, but, but that that's, that's like that's way down the yeah. rabbit hole. That is way down the rabbit hole, bro. Again, too conspiratorial. That is way down the rabbit hole. And at the end of the day, we we can't project to people that you really don't have a choice. You dig what I'm saying? Right, right, right. We can't have people we thinking we do that, that you they're gonna don't say, have okay, a choice. Let's cut them. But that's what they do it to my Instagram right, right. now. They're like, okay, let's cut them. He's been at 345, 345 <laughs> dozen. We're not going to let this raise for the next seven months. For six months, I've been stuck in the same place. That's crazy. I'm like, word, that's what you're trying to do? I've never seen no shit like this before. But it's cool. I get what you're doing because I'm waking them in a different way. But back to the reality of the situation is... Mm -hmm. We have to understand and identify with our culture. Trump has his own base. Right. Yeah, they're all the racist. He and he gonna appeal to them. Yeah. He don't give a fuck what his own party say, cause he know like y'all don't get it. Nigga, y'all I I did TV shows, I did all this shit, and I realized what captivates them. I, I do and 
I do analytics. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm just an entertainer. I'm an entertainer, and I know what analytics, and I'm so, saying these. So, in his mind, he knows I'm going to lose you and lose you and lose you. But I'm going to get 100 I'm more of them. Of yeah, because I've seen these guys talking about if Trump goes, it's going to be violence. It's going to be a civil war. It was on my page. Blah, blah, man. blah. See, yeah, that's exactly how I saw it, matter of fact. Looking through your page. Like, because they <laughs> said, like, bottom line, yeah, y'all peace him, but if he go, nigga, we, really, we willing to yeah, die. Yeah. Yeah, nah, they was talking you crazy. You guys get a can that their niggas ready, I ready said, to damn, die. I said, damn, really going that hard? They, they thinking about it you like that. You see what he did to the white, the real nah, he got deep them excited. white Americans. Like, he was like, racism? Wake that shit up. You don't got to hide it no more. Yeah. You don't like the that Mexican, right? let them know. Like, yeah. 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 In the mouth. This is right. fucking nuts. Yeah. Where, where, but, where but the I shit honestly, we suppressed over time, he was like, nah, nah, nah. Wake up. Say what you need to say. I honestly prefer... A real, my racist people in the world visible. Yeah, mm. so you can know. Yeah, right. show show sense. me who you are. Show me who you are. Show me so exactly I know what I'm you are. Yeah, you know what I mean. Don't, For don't real. have me thinking you're gonna sell me right. a car at half price. Thank you. The whole time. Thank you. Nah, you know what I'm that's saying? real. Like, show me who you are. I got this nigger think he's gonna buy my car. Maybe the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Your handshake ain't matching your smile, then it's like, damn, like, yo, he just finessed me. He calmed me out of my mm -hmm. whole, right. my whole vote. Know, and that's I why know. I tell niggas all the time. I don't want racists to reveal themselves, but at the same time, you just want them I don't want racist. you to feel comfortable to not be racist. Like, but you it, should be scared to death to say some spit But somebody got to hit him in the mouth. Though, exactly. The bottom line is nobody, listen to me. I tell niggas all the time, if you're not willing to do something about what you mad at, then the shit you mad at is gonna keep prospering. They don't let it go. Yeah, absolutely. They, gonna, they, don't, they don't care. If you not you haven't made a conscious decision that I'm gonna do this because I'm mad at this. Why is my wife calling me right now? Oh, we could talk about that too. I'm gonna talk to her later. I mean, it's late. It is late. She like, well, nigga, where you at? <laughs> She, what you need? What you need? Opinion I'm show. still doing my. my subscribe, I'm still. Subscribe, we still. Subscribe. We still live. We still live. Shooting. We still live. We still live. We still we still live. live. What still you live. need for my life? I'm still live. We're, we're actually waiting on you right What'd now. What you say? She said, "Say hello, wife." How are you doing? Queen. Hello, wife. How are you? Hola. Peace, queen. Yeah, you just you just get interrupt a whole <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Yeah, don't call me. Because if I don't, you'll be like, oh, nigga, I'm this and that. What you need? <laughs> okay, I'll call you back when I'm finished. That's love. Where my wife at? Oh. Oh. my wife at? Why she not calling me? Let me stop. I broke up with my girl last week. Uh, oh. Damn, man. Oh. Y'all... No, no. Come on, nah, I don't what? believe that. For one day. Okay, okay, uh, all right, cool, cool, cool. He's back together. All right, all right, all right. Because right. it was such a nice thing Go going on. That's we not even a breakup, about... man. Yeah, it, it's not no. a breakup. It, it is for no, me. It's not. Nah, a whole day. It be real. Wait, let me ask you. Are you <laughs> one of those real. dudes that what? get tight and be like, it's over? Every time you have an argument? Not every time, nah. Not every time. No. It's got to be worse. Like, yeah, so no, 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 I'm going to cut that motherfucker That's over it, before nigga. Because you're not going to get all the way up to here. Right. Nigga, I'm, I'm going to lose the whole ankle and the foot, nah. but I'm not going to lose the leg. It's going. That's crazy. <laughs> I hate it. And the bottom line is like, like, I was having a conversation with him. It's like, sometimes, as Taurus, we so strong-minded. We know what we need. We know what we want. If you're not going to give us that, we'll we find just, it. We're good. Yeah, we'll, well my find it. The bottom line, I'm going to lose the yeah? rest of it. Because I... I you got to give me what I need. <laughs> Taurus, we are, birth we are, we are finalists. May 16th? 16th. Uh, well, nigga, we will uh, finalize uh, some shit. Yeah. And that, that if, will be it. Once I realize that you ain't, I don't, because I know what I need. If you tell me, I'm going to ask you, you were there what I need? And if you tell me any, if, if I got five criteria, you only give me three, I'm done with you. Mm. I need five. I need five. Because I'm willing to give That's crazy. Cause five and more. You know why? I'm willing to give five I, I, I more. Feel like if I, could get these five? I could build the other two. 
Mm. Nah, I don't feel like that's that. That's just me personally. I don't yeah. feel like that. I, I feel, feel like, like if I, feel I like you don't got the other I, two. If I got three standards, and I mean, if I have five standards and you have three, I think I could, personally, I could build two. All right, so, so, so here, here's my thing. Um, if you when go to your birthday? June 4th. Okay. If you go uh, to a... Um, Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Gemini. You're right, Gemini. You right so out. You kind of in between. <laughs> so if you go to a sandwich spot, you say, yo, give me a honey glazed yeah. turkey <laughs> and pepper jack cheese with lettuce, tomato, <laughs> um, mayonnaise, right. salt, pepper, and vinegar, exactly. and they just give you honey turkey and pepper jack cheese and bread, you good. I make it work. I will make it work. <laughs> you go home. I can't. I'm not. The rest of this Let me tell you why. I'm not paying my money for that. Nah, nah, you go, you. Give me what I ask. I'm a scorpion. I take it. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to, like, damn. Fuck. No, I'm going to be tight. What Man. Yeah, I need tomatoes in my man, shit. Yo, I'm legit. Oh, if they, if yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of the go home and add the rest. I'm going to be good. Fuck it up. I'm going to lose. I'm going to put extra cheese on I'm there. The nails putting no ketchup like, in the bag? Yo, so if, 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 I'm going to come back what? and somebody get hit with this shit. See, see, yo. That's how I feel. If me and Shorty in the whip, I'm going to bring Shorty in the whip. And she open that bag. Why are you sitting like that? She like, bang, what the fuck? Hell no, turn around. Hell no, you ain't no hell. You gonna eat this motherfucker? You eating that shit today? That's see, see, that's I, not that's happening. Of course, more confusion yeah. anything. Cause uh, if she don't want to eat that, then that's gonna have y'all at odds. Man, she that's not eat what that. she ordered. Like I'm trying to tell you, the reality of the situation is when you want something and people have in their mind what they supposed to get and they don't get it, it's always gonna be confusion. Yeah, that's true. That's, fact. that's true. Always. Oh, but you can learn to grow. You, Learn the growth is grow. okay. The compromise is okay for me. It's like this. I want a certain shit is not compromisable for me. Right. As 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 a, a a spouse for me, as a mate for me, there are certain criteria you have to fit. You have to be. I have to feel like I'm safe with you. I have to feel like whatever I'm doing is us. Mm-hmm. Right. The minute right. I feel like it ain't us, right. And it's right. me or you, then we're not on the same team. That's right. right. Nah, and I, I can't give my life to something that we not on the same team. Yeah, I draw that line I, right I feel there, that so. way in everything. Yeah, I feel, I like feel that. you. I feel like and that. that's everything. how I feel in everything, I feel too. Like that's real. You know what I'm saying? Listen nah, to me. Nah. My loyalty, my man always sitting right here. He, t- he, t- he tells me all the time, my loyalty is my weakness. Because I'm one nigga, if I tell you my man or whatever it is for me, I'm going to die for that. Right. I don't give a who it is. If you with me and I say that's what I'm loyal to, I will give my life for that without a, a heartbeat, right. nothing. Because that's what it is. And and a nigga that I give that to might not have that same thing mm. for me. You know what I'm saying? And I feel? realize that. And, and that's, nah, that's and this is one of my and closest that's why friends. Hollow had to get it. Ah, man. <laughs> Come on. That's why. That was a, your look for some real shit. Nah, that's why it's a real shit. Leave him alone. Over money, nigga. That's why when, when I watched the Hollow nah. versus Danny Myers. Listen to me. That's why <laughs> when I watched that, that the battle, that shit touched me in a different way. Because I know what you were saying. Mm. Right. Then I'm not saying, I don't, I don't, I don't know the whole situation, but because yeah, I watched I it from just. What you what you what, what, you see, see, yeah. what you're But I'm saying if that's if that shit happened the way you felt it happened, mm. then nigga, that's how I would have took it. Yeah, yeah. The way you when you when, crowd felt that battle when that. you broke that shit <laughs> down, you broke like, it down, bro. He broke that shit no down lie. from A to Z, nigga. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. no no it was no letter missing <laughs> from nah, A to Z, down. and I was like, my nerves. twin. <laughs> Nah, man, that's point crazy. Nah, that's you, the shit I, I was in the, the building great. for that, man. And the, yeah, crowd, you know, look, the crowd, the crowd was I, even I, like, yeah. You was looking at him in the eyes. I was, like, I was looking. It was like you was talking to me in my eyes, nigga. A tear came right here. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my nigga. I know he felt betrayed, <laughs> nigga. Nah, once a nigga betray lie, you, that shit was amazing. When nigga you love betray you, nigga, it ain't, it's no worse feeling than that. Mm. Word. Yeah. It's nothing you worse than, than the enemy. That's real. Nah, yeah. Yeah. You so real because you sit next to me. I know you you're my you. enemy, nigga. You I'm, know me. You feel but me? But once I, I, you know my enemy. I deemed you as my brother, brother right. and I'm willing to I'll give my life for you. you. Like, right. come on, and you tr- man. That means you know me, me in and out, nigga. Uh, 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 enemy or op, whatever you want to call them, they they know what I give them. That's I it. gave you everything, so now you know my ins and outs. You know my moves that kiss me, nigga. When he talked that shit to me. I, I felt it. And when he started going like this, I'm like, yeah. 
That's what you know, nigga. He like, nigga, look, he did this, but I can't hit you because I love you, <laughs> nigga. You was, nigga, you was, look, you don't even get. He said, nigga, you was this to me. Nah, real talk. I would have died. Nah, I was out here right. doing, and I was nah, like, nah, yeah. Yo, I, I, look, I told I the better that story that night, nigga. I turned that battle all for a minute. I just sat there like. Well, I think that's why he got the results he got. Cause he, he did. Spit, he spit yeah. from his heart. That's yo, yeah, I tell niggas all the time, yeah. nigga. When you come from here, yeah. it's mm-hmm. different. Nah, it's man, I don't give different. a fuck. You can you can be the worst rapper. It's a mm-hmm. lot of real bars are the ill bars. I tell niggas like, all the time. Guys, it, it don't always work out like that. But it's a lot of rappers that ain't really good, but they come from here and you like. T Rex versus K Shine did not work out like that. What you like mean? A, like a guy like Oops when he does his third round and he talks yeah, about his Oops. life or he talks about Oops, what's going on in St. Louis or some real shit like that. You be like, damn, fucker him. Trying but to kill his opponent. That's why, nigga, like, yeah, Suge, amazing, that's why Suge is successful. Yeah. What's your life like? Suge ain't successful because he's the best bar for bar, nigga. You it's feel what he's he, saying? You, fi- you, you feel, listen, feel you like, like that nigga. Newer. You like, you believe damn. That. That, you you believe that, that nigga so shit. much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I'm, ch- I'm yeah. looking at nigga like, damn, this nigga Suge is not the best rapper, but yeah. I believe yeah. every Everything. syllable of the word that he put out there. Right. That's right. real. And yeah. it's like... And then some people are really good, but horrible at I don't believe anything you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're just good with it's words, right. honey. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a right. lot of... Like, you're not going to do these none niggas, of that these shit. Follow, these niggas just follow... How genuine they are. Yeah, but yeah. Um, when you so definitely come point, from the heart, it's different, bro. Like, it's different, It's man. different. You don't even got to have a battle round. I tell niggas, you don't even got to rap. If you just say... If you can battle a nigga... I tell niggas all the time. You can battle a nigga... That's got the best rhymes in the world, and the words you saying ain't got to rap. If you sit up there and just said a bunch of shit that was real, niggas might yeah. be like, damn. Niggas could cry. Hey, yo, nah, I think that's why a nigga like Gucci Gotti is successful. Gucci Gotti don't always, even though he'd be like, 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 like every fucking bar, he, when he tells nah, you, he's he like, talk. yo, he my talk. man got shot, and you know what I'm saying? We had the bear for that his Cassie cost a thousand, and that's all That's all we really had. That's some wild shit. And you'll be like, yo, so wait a minute. What? I know you're about to battle wait, Geechee wait, one of these days, yeah, man. I'm about to battle Geechee like yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> wait. So, y'all already so, 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 wait, wait, wait. Y'all say a nigga can have a round. Talking some real shit. That don't rhyme. Yes. You just standing next to a nigga like, you's a bitch ass nigga. I'm going to tell you why. Look, I saw you. Last month you was doing it da 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 and you snaked your man. I was gonna tell the man nothing but you that. Like, like you know, no, no, but you telling me shit. I could do that for three minutes? No, nah. no, you can't. Hey, yo, no, bro, bro, bro. 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 Hey, good. Keep it a hundred. I don't want to see that. that you sure? Arsenal, awesome, right? <laughs> you sure? Mm-hmm. When he said, uh, <laughs> you I seen him over there. He did this. I said, oh shit. He should be but that's witty, song. that's uh, witty yeah. though. Cause it's you putting somebody but in a scenario. Real. That was real. Like in his Yeah, because you can part. visualize right. that shit. You can visualize that was a real oh shit. You like, know what I'm saying? Like, Nothing wrong. I he was get, like, oh. even even with Geechee and all uh, Tay Rock, it, that first wrong. round when he was just talking about the situation and all that, it wasn't the yeah, super most rappingest nah, thing. Right, he was just saying was hitting you know why you ain't got the seat up? Cause you don't ride with your niggas. That wasn't the craziest most. But it was like, it was like, yo. People was like, Finn, yo, you heard people were, like, were feeling like, yo. If you ain't riding, you can't yeah. get a seatbelt, nigga. Right. <laughs> you gotta ride, nigga. That's yeah. like shit yeah. proof, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Speaking yeah. battle rap, though, my son, you, you used to battle Talk. rap, man. I was, I was good at it. Talk. You, you shine, you Look, Inez, you got some legendary shit in the cut. Look. I watched you kind of sound like my son. No. Because, <laughs> of course they're going to say that because... We are so authentic in our shit, and and we we gonna talk to you, we gonna walk you yeah. through it, and we are gonna give you some different shit. So, I appreciate that. I didn't no. when he said it though. No, I did not appreciate when he said it though. No, I don't get it. It's so I want to be my own. I mean, nobody yeah. wants to be compared to the next. Of one. course, the, the bottom line. Like yeah. The bottom line That's is this. Fire track, by the way. I'm gonna bump that shit all the time. Yeah, go look that up. Uh, math, chubby math. <laughs> <laughs> My son and Lord Tariq, yeah, we gotta join up. We on got YouTube. some shit. Check it out. I yeah. listen. That was like, what was that? Two thousand seven. Mm. Yeah, we did yeah. that shit years ago. Yeah. But the bottom line is, for me, it's like when I listen to this shit and I know where I came from. Like when, when, you know, when Smack first started putting shit on. Yeah. Right. We did the first battle. Right. Mm-hmm. Before that shit, when it was just. Like we did the first 
pay per view shit. Like, yes, boom, yes, bang. exactly. Right. Man, Tiger was telling me that right. that was the first pay per view. You know what I'm saying? I just came from jail. I was home from jail a year, and I'm like, oh, I learned a lot of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was a, a dope battle. It was, nigga, it was. Energy was crazy. Energy was I was crazy. watching it this morning. <gasps> nigga. Why was you just talking about the nigga's nose? No, nah, it was. That was like, and then you had a whole round where you called him a nah, bitch. Right. It, it, yeah, it, it was just bitch. You me, no, bitch. no, 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 no. Because <laughs> you know, listen, the, the scheme of it was why he was a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, right. Because yeah. right. it was supposed to be bitch ass ness. Because. <laughs> bitch ass, no bitch ass ness. Exactly. Puffy. Right. Exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. that was the scheme of it. Right. Well, when. They started screaming. I'm, I'm fresh home from jail. Yeah. You ain't li you yeah. ain't thinking niggas gonna scream and boo you and you like yeah. there's a bunch of Philly niggas in the building you're like and, yeah. and your mind is like, you're like I don't wanna take it nowhere else, y'all. Yo, these niggas is booing niggas me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't you know when the first time it happened yeah, yeah. and these niggas booing, boo! Every nigga that boo! Yeah. I'm forgetting the it's rhyme. It's crazy. But that wasn't the rhyme. The yeah, rhyme was some other shit. It seemed like you were freestyling a little bit. In I and started and freestyling because I forgot. I'm like, yo. It man. happened to me a couple times, bro. Nigga, I forgot the shit I was going to say. I'm like, this. I'm of saying course. some shit. Uh -huh. I'm like, and it's his nose. Because <laughs> 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 like, you see the bitch in his nose. You see the bitch in his nose. I'm like, yo, niggas like, nah, my nigga. That's all <laughs> Niggas like, yo, nah, my nigga. Uh, they forgot all the words I said before they forgot. The yeah, now your first round, round was crazy. That was crazy. They like, yo. Crazy. I was like, yo, this they like, yo, dumb. With the nose, they're like, nah. The she killed you. Nose. Nick came with a rhyme that had nothing to do with me. That he killed you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah. that, that Philly flow was kind of like the cheat code. It bro. was. <laughs> it was the cheat code back in the days. Like these Philly niggas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody you had that flow. Like you watch me in Dose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that was a cheat code. Like, I was saying some <laughs> shit. <laughs> I you mean, were saying some shit to me. This shit was like, this shit was like, this shit was like, No, 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 Hey, the yo. Philly niggas in the building when he said that shit, you ain't got a chance. Yo, yeah, my nigga, huh? Nick was there. I'm gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Nigga, it Meek. was over." Meek was in the building. I looked at nigga face. I'm like, "Yeah." He looked at me like, "Not today." I'm here with Meek, nigga. <laughs> Philly niggas is here. Not today. Oh, to every Philly, yo, nigga, every Philly nigga that was somebody was in that building that night. Yeah. Yo, and it felt and like Philly whole Philly there. We learned yo, that. Yo, my nigga, I'm telling I'm oh, niggas, yeah. yo, let make them stop booing me, man. Yeah, Phil, Phil definitely. Nah, I was like, yo, son, yo, yo, I ain't with that shit, yo. Tell the niggas to chill out. And I said to myself, shit get crazy. when I said in your nose, I was like, damn, I fucked that rhyme up. Fuck it, I'm coming back to the next one. Niggas didn't want to hear no more. We had five rounds. It was it. Niggas did not care. Once I said that, they said he won. He the ball. He came the third round. He said didn't have nothing to do with battle rap. Mm -hmm. He said a rap that he probably said on some nigga that paid him for <laughs> Mixed a feature. Mixtape bars. Mixtape bars. Anything, he's like yo. Mixtape bars. So when niggas come back, me down. Listen to the battle again. You really won, but they didn't care no more. Would you rematch it? Nah, I don't want because I don't. Yo, yo, what yo, you yo, think about battle rap? rap? What you think about battle rap? You even getting what, into it's it? It's not for me. Yeah. Okay. Because I have to get to a level of disrespectful. That doesn't coincide with who I am right now. Right. Is that true though? Because we see guys like Lux and Calico. But he no, had to get into no Lux super. Is, listen to me, I got civil rights. I, I started a civil rights organization. I teach kids. Nigga, I teach curriculums at school. Mm -hmm. It's a different thing for me. I can put out music, but for me to get to where I got to go to talk to you the way it, and it, it, it don't make sense. It ain't to gonna me. make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, oh, this thing. It's gonna corrupt the process. Yeah, you know what I'm okay, saying? So okay. it's like, I love yeah. battle rap. Unless he battles I'll somebody play. who's not voting for Bernie. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> SoCon? <laughs> SoCon's so with Bernie. SoCon is with Bernie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah, battled yeah, Bernie. Jin, 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 yeah. He battled Jin. Jin with Andrew Yang. Jin is about Andrew Yang. It's like for me, Yang I fuck with Yang, but the bottom line is like, for me, it's like, I be I be itching sometimes. like. Nigga, I can yeah. get in this and kill yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know I can. Yeah. Right. Nigga, nigga, I'm telling you, I'm in, I've been, I, I'm, I'm in tune with the yeah. culture. I'm not a nigga that's outside of it that's trying to. Nigga, I know what to do for this. I'm making music. I do all this shit, and I know how to do this. I, mm. If you look at my listen to the free shots, nigga, I know how to take the shit that that's not relevant to just 
just the political shit and just right. put shit in that's gonna make you look so you're like you gonna hit them with gum bars and but, all but, that. Oh, <laughs> nigga, because I, I could say, look, when I was doing this, right, I would have right. shot one of you it's niggas credible. this way. It's credible. Yeah, yeah, and right. it's credible. It's, it's credible. I know how to do right. it, but it's, it's credible. Like, the bottom line is, I'm gonna leave that to y'all because I got my own lane. Yeah, I got my yeah, own yeah, shit yeah, I'm doing, yeah. and I love I love battle rap. I don't want to discredit. I don't want to be a nigga that's come back because I don't I don't like that shit. So, so let me let me ask you a question because again with the battle rap shit and something that you just mentioned, is it just inevitable if you grew up in the streets to take some sort of pride in illegal activity? I don't I don't know mm. if if you take pride in illegal activity, but to take pride in un- understanding that when illegal act- activity was your only option. You excelled in that, right? Because that's what they told you. The only thing they told you you had to do mm. to take pride in that and say I survived in the era when that's all we had to do. do right. And when I find out something else, I elevated my mind somewhere mm. else. It's kind of like being in a war. Yeah. Well, if a nigga come in here shooting, nigga, and yeah, I grab a I gun, I got purple heart, nigga. I got a purple that's heart. That's what I and did. I, and, and, and even if, if I move on, I'm a Christian. I'm like, yo. I, I had to do what I had to do yeah. to survive because the love I have for my people. You know what I'm saying? I tell niggas all the time, the only thing you can celebrate about jail is the fact that you made it out. Mm. I don't want to celebrate. I don't want to have no jail conversation <laughs> with you about what we did in the yard, nigga. Right, right. Talk to that but another nigga. I'll be honest with you. Personally, I don't do this. Like normally, I don't do jail conversations. I don't want to know the name of the jail you was in. I don't want because I feel like once you place that information in your head, then it's relevant to be a part of your life. Your life. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. a fact. You dig what I'm saying? Right. But I feel like there's an audience that needs to understand. Yes. That shit get real. This is yes. a path. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. This could happen to you. Because yeah. yeah. that's how it happens. And nobody who go to jail on everything. Decision. I don't think nobody who goes to jail who actually lived it. Like I did an interview with this guy Nobody called K. Dude, that shit. and he yeah. doesn't like he, no, like are, people like that no, don't. No, I'm talking about real right? niggas. Yeah, real. Ones. You yeah. can't listen to me. But but here's here's the problem. Even Chi Ali, Chi Ali talks you about say it. Real he, niggas. he don't glorify jail. Never. You say Never. real he niggas. He would not be my best friend if he did. You know what I'm you saying? You say real niggas. Never. However. There are people who can market nah. that. Nah, they can. And will market that. No. And continue to market listen that. To me. I'm a, listen to me. Because I don't really care. Because I'm who I am. When I watched <coughs> Al Poe talk about when he took his, How he murdered. He murdered a nigga. His, yeah, rich. his best friend. Uh-huh. He took a nigga to Where the he dropped him in the ditch. And dropped him. I said to myself, what character of individual is this? What caliber? Because if I had to take my, a friend, Some somebody shit. that I called my best friend's life, if I had to do it, it ain't for y'all to find out about it. Yeah. If I felt that it was that severe, I'm never going to have this conversation with y'all. Yeah. Pistol Pete, I don't know if I, I knew Pete since we was kids. Right. When, he would, when the situation happened, when niggas from his own group, he thought was snitching or whatever, it had to happen... He wouldn't even look at their mother's eye. He didn't want to talk about that conversation. I apologize, but that was the life we did. All this of us chose. Yeah. This was the life we chose. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rehash this situation. Out of respect for them, I don't even want to talk about that no more. Out of respect for their mothers, their families, yeah. and all of them. Yeah. I know what the oath we took yeah. and the shit that we was involved with. But out of respect for everybody that's still living. Right. That didn't take that oath, I would never have that conversation again. That's where, and and I'm a cop out to triple like 100 plus 150 years. It's crazy. Like, that's what honorable is, nigga. I'm 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 willing to deal with the consequences of what I did. Yeah. And I don't want I don't I don't need nobody to glorify me. I don't need, I apologize to you for what I did to you, right. but I knew what it is that I was doing. And I'm willing to deal with that as a man. Right, as a man. That's real shit right. to me. It's not that I'm glorifying the street shit. I'm glorifying the man that said to himself, you chose I, made, that I chose this, and I know what comes with this, and I'm willing to deal with that. But you got to understand, there's a certain level of psychosis that comes along with some of the shit that goes on in street shit. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? I do. Like, he may be a... He, 
you you spoke about on um, Pistol Pete. Mm -hmm. He was affected by what he had to do. But then there's some people that would feel proud that they were able to do that. But, th but that's a, to me. You get what I'm saying? I, and I'm not and that's a level of psychosis. But with, that level of psychosis to me is not something I can identify with. Mm. Right. Mm. So when that's the nigga you are, we not the same kind of niggas, and right. I can res I can accept who that's you are. I don't have shit. to respect it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like yeah. it's like Republicans and de Democrats. We're on a different side of the spectrum. You you are going to have like I tell niggas all the time. If I was a Republican, Trump would be the best candidate for me. Yeah. Because he don't give a fuck, nigga. This is what I am and who I am. I get it. If that was my ideology, if I didn't care about the poor class and I didn't care about the reality of what we're dealing with in America and I just was right. based on capitalism and try to figure out how people got money already can get more money, I would be like, Trump is my man. Right. And I get it. It's like Achilles... You're fighting a different war. And Hector. Yeah. They respected each other. What they understood, nigga... We gonna have to this fight. This is different. We gonna have the. We gonna have to. One of us right. gonna die. Right. Let you me, know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming right. from. But we on two opposite sides of the spectrum. We, I'm fighting for them. You fight for them. You gonna have to kill me, and I'm gonna die in that war if it happens. But I don't believe what you believe in. Right. And I can respect you for believing what you believe in and being that honorable in what you believe in. But we just on different sides of the spectrum. Um, I, I didn't wanted to add something. Oh yeah, you know it's crazy. Like downstate, I, I I was in two prisons. You were one with a bunch of young niggas, and one with the old heads. Right. You see night and day. Boom. You you in the yard. You see young boys. Yo, bro, what's good, car? Yeah, I'm here, bro. Like damn. Yeah, yeah I'm back, cars. I'm anything. Yeah, I'm trying to get out there. Like it's really a party, though. You feel me? Yeah. Boom. I spent my majority of my time there, you feel me? I didn't really conversate nobody because we don't got nothing to really conversate about. Me right. and you going to walk the same, you know what I'm saying? Right. I went the raw way. Yo, I had to literally grab my fucking jaw. Niggas like, yo, don't sit right there, young boy. You're going to get stabbed up. What? You in prison, so your mind like, who you talking to? But niggas like, you got to really understand, like, hold on. Let me backtrack. What the... Yeah. All right, hold on. Niggas ain't, 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 ain't sit down yet. Ain't right. no bitch, but let me move around. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Watch what's going on first. Right. They, my bunky was like, hey, yeah, yeah, like, you know, sit next to me, go. On everything. If you ever sat right there, he ever stabbed you up. They wouldn't have did nothing to you, cuz. They wouldn't have did nothing for you. So it's like, it's night and day, you feel me? Right. It's like, it's a but different level of seriousness. It's a different level of seriousness, you feel me? And people just play with serious... People really play with their lives. Yeah, yeah. Like, it ain't nothing. Like, yo, them young like boys might be really like, well, right. I don't care. Right. They really like, I'm trying to get up there. They celebrate. You really trying to get up there. Yo, this shit is ass here. You know, it's right. live up here, bro. Yo, you should get over it. Bro, don't yell through, don't yell through my window, my boy. Right. It's just not... I just don't do that, you feel me? Like, yeah. and boom, like, yo, you really be on some chill shit. Yeah, my nigga. Don't yell in my window, my nigga. I'm going to keep it 100, you feel I'm me? I'm not celebrating. I'm not celebrating this shit, you feel yeah. me? What we celebrating? You yeah. feel me? Like, I'll make the best out of it. I am. I'm listening to this music right now. You killing my vibes, my nigga. Mm. You feel me? So it's like, it's just a different level of seriousness. So that's why when I hear a lot of the conversation, I'm like, yo, this shit is really it's crazy good. how it really pans out. And you really living this shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it gets that serious. People play with this shit. I used to play with the shit like, damn, because everything used to come so easy to me. Mm. Money used to come easy to me. I didn't really have to, uh, you know what I'm saying, go hard for it. Never had to work for it. Yeah. Females came easy. Never had to like spit no game. It was just, it right. just, everything just came easy. So now my mindset is like, damn, it's still coming easy to me. So imagine if I work for this shit. You know what what it's saying? gonna be like. What it's gonna be what like. Gonna now be like. I'm, I'm, I'm fully focused on everything. So you know what I'm saying? The, wouldn't the time be different too? Like the younger ones didn't spend much time there. So, like, and the older folk, they did longer bids, it correct? Did. Yeah. Did. Right. Yeah. So that's a big difference, it right? Is. It's like, hey, you in here, you, you just got here. You don't know what you're talking about, young bull. All it is is you ain't losing. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You ain't been through yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. you ain't been through shit. Right. The older has probably niggas, had niggas about came, eight, ten friends came, that have came and go. Man, you know what crazy. I mean? Right. I mean, now after you didn't did five years, the rap 
battle rap community want to see you back since you right. like you've been going five years, but right. niggas been saying your name every year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. ARP been holding you down every month. You know and what I'm saying. Vi- yo, yeah. ARP came to visit me every month. That's crazy. I ain't know. Every I ain't know that. Every that's, single that's month. I don't know league owners that do that. Down like, that. like as you a friend, we ain't even talk about battle yeah, that's rap. What's up. The nigga just came. Yo, I'm coming through. Yo, it was some days, bro. I didn't get a haircut. I didn't know I was getting a visit. The nigga came. Like, I'm like, they like, That's yo, Grant, you got a visit, yo. What? Hell no. Ain't no. So, y'all, 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 nigga, y'all relationship extended beyond just business and battle rap. Right. Past yeah. battle rap. Right. Then they came to visit for like three days straight. Ain't I mean, three three uh months straight. Ain't talk about battle rap right once. We just all talking about, you know what I'm saying? Say building. Like, that's shout my bro, bro, my bro. Yeah, like, shout that's, that's bro. my brother for real. But the community, we want to see you back in that ring. We want to see oh, yeah. that Adi boom. Like, is that going to happen in 2020? Because we see you been a little active this year, a little yeah, bit. Like, yeah. showing up to events. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying. You know what I'm they saying? They not giving me nothing to be uh, surprised about, though. Like, I've, I've been to, like, three events since I've been home. Which ones? I've been to the T Rex and Tay Rock uh, event. Really? Right. I've been to shout the, out the Battle Academy. Yeah, shout out Battle Academy. That shit was Stiz. live. That shit felt like a real event. Right. Uh, I've been to the Gates, Gates of the Garden, Garden with um, who who battled? Uh, uh, Dre Dennis, Prez, and Homes of the God and and and, it was and two Prep. And two. Right. right, and I've been to I've been to this other event. Saturday. It really wasn't that the other event. It was to, it was another Gates of the Garden one. Right. It really wasn't nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't ex- excited for a lot of these events because all I'm hearing is New Jersey twerk. Mm. And all I'm hearing is Prez Mafia and New Jersey twerk. You've seen a lot of this, right? That's all I'm saying. Me. That means like, twerk. That's all he do. That's up. And all like, that. It's the, like, the, 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 that's the new shit. And then when I come on, that's Once you got that, that's that good. It'd be like. It's like, like, yeah. So, and then I, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's no, like, no, no, that's no, no, all I Everybody do the same shit. <laughs> Come on, you gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta do it right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like, that's Bad all I can You gotta be so magic. There's, there's nothing bad. really like I could, I could go. Best right. believe I got Or then you gotta do your voice. You gotta do your voice. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do the, you gotta do the slow. Then the yeah. Uh, so it's, that's it's becoming so like a battle There's nothing really formula. like uh, shake me up though. Okay, okay. No originality, you say? No originality. I, I like think twerk. that's why I stay my... No, no, like no, 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 no. That's no. his style. No, I like twerk. Like, wait, so wait, 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 niggas wait, is taking his style. Wait, 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 it's like R. Kelly being up with niggas? Yo, listen. No. But it's like, hold on. You can't go with niggas. You just did it. How you know I can't? If you, you just can't, did it, you just did it like an old yo, head. Yo, yo, mad. <laughs> mad. No, I'm not talking about that. Yo, mad. It's yeah. like what R. Kelly did to Aaron Hall. Oh, there you go. And then Trey Songz did to R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nigga, God. Say, nigga, take their whole style nah, and just make it better. That's crazy. They evolve. It's okay. They do. I got my Millie right here. It's like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like, I like, I like original motherfuckers. Like, I'm gonna keep it 100. It's a lot of new niggas. It's a lot of new niggas that I have yet to watch. You know what I'm saying? I still, me personally, I still watch the Moth Hat, Moth Hoppers, the Cortezes, the uh, K Sean. That's my thing. I watch those. You feel me? If you originate a style, I'm gonna watch your style. You know what I'm saying? I like new niggas. I like uh, that I, that wasn't here when I was here. I like Gucci Gotti. I like New Jersey Twerk. Yeah. Uh, I liked uh, Nitty, Nitty. Nitty, Nitty, but Nitty was here. Uh-huh. Nitty was there. Yeah, Nitty, Nitty was, was back with everybody time, at the he time. Was, yeah. yeah, he was back with everybody. So I like them niggas. I I, I don't have a lot of handful of niggas. Like J- Ab was, I battled Ab before though. Like fourteen. Before he got crazy. Well, yeah, before yeah. he got crazy. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Ab got this. He got he he got yeah. way better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying right. he found niggas finding their niche. I'm yeah, so I like a lot of these. Yeah. I think <laughs> drunk, drunk ass is different. How we feel about drunk ass? He that nigga. Drunk ass. We need to see more yo, drunk ass. Funny as you, shit. Yo, Verb was so ass. Verb was so tight. Yo, yo. Like, yo. Verb was like, yo, he yo, said you gotta sin. I'm like, you, like, you, you need to sin, Verb. Like, like, he like, you drunk ass. Like, I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in you. Disappointed in you. Verb was talking though. Verb was like, yo, get your hand on my face, Ab. He said, yo, what you wanna do? You drunk? What you wanna do? You drunk? 
Yo, we was in Ohio. Hey, Adler, I'm not drunk. We was you in Ohio drunk, outside the hotel. Yeah, you drank, I had right, a right, whole you bottle bugging. of I don't know what the fuck. Moonshine. Some shit that I never heard of. You look like a nigga that have moonshine. Like, like, you see, Adler had me drinking some Jose Cuervo bottles. No, it wasn't even Cuervo. Now you see Adler with some nigga named Jose. He was drinking some other shit. He was drinking Jose from Harlem. And you know, yes, he was drinking some other shit. I'm like, yo, what are you drinking? He like, Virginia shit. Man, it's that cheap shit. Like, y'all drinking Henny. I'm drinking this shit. I'm just like, he's the whole proof. bottle to the face. <laughs> Come on, shot. Yeah. They say you drunk. <laughs> Come on, Yo, Tell name? me as a man. As a man. As a man. Tell me as a man. You see that? Yo, listen. It's son, it's a lot of truth. Yo, I like you. I'm fucking drunk at But I'm trying to tell you, me and Drunk Ab would have had a fight that day. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Bro, what if they told me go outside? Drunk Ab would have. I'm going to tell you so much about it. I'm like, what do you mean go outside, though? Yeah. What does that mean? So I, I can tell you what I'll tell you. Listen, listen, yo, he said, "I don't give a fuck." I don't. I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, nah. I, I'm, so I, I, I got it. I'm not saying this. Yeah, I got it. Throw two. I got it. Throw two at you. You got it. Whatever happened right. after that. Because you told me to go outside. No, no, shout, shout out to the vegan bird. Shout out to the vegan bird. Bird was bird. ready, yo. Yeah. 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 Bird, bird, bird had money to him a little bit. He gave him a head bird. Like, yo, my nigga. He's like, what the fuck was you told me? You drunk? He said, who the fuck is like? You fucking drunk. I'm, I'm from St. Louis, Louis shout nigga. Shout out to the vegan bird. Got you. But that bird was my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, once you say go outside, I got to hit you too much. But my nigga. I I'm gotta, like, what do you, you mean go outside? You are yeah, you stressed me up already. Me? I wanna see That's drunk ass on above. stage. I do, I love it. <laughs> <You don't wanna laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, drunk ass. Mind you, that nigga. Drunk ass. He's a fuck all that. Nigga, bro, so he's like, fuck all that, man. Fuck I'm talking about that. He's like, don't touch me, ass. You disrespect. <laughs> you disappointed me. <laughs> you disappointed me. You disappointed me. You said you gotta sin. You have to sin. You said all this all this new verb to sin. You need to sin, whatever. Sin verb. Yeah, that is no, true. No, but what, what did you think about that battle? Verb, you intimidated. Verb, <laughs> verb and DNA was pretty good. Yeah. Verb and DNA. Who you I, think won? Like, yeah. Initially, initially in the building, because people was already Proud. tuning Verb oh. out because they're like, Proud. "Oh, he talking that bullshit." But when you actually listen, you're like, "Nah, he's actually no, no." I'm, no, I'm he, can actually rap. Rap. he can rap. He can rap. No, no, it was actually dope. It he wasn't rap. rap. It was like yeah. he was giving DNA food for thought. Like he was right. first, in the building, it's like so many people kind of was kind of against Verb. That's how right. I felt. Like ah, oh, he just talking that Burp miracle, always lyrical. Yeah, Burp 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 the villain. Like, like, Verb always gonna be the villain. Now, he I, loved I, it. He I, painted I, like he grabbed all to okay. that shit. You I, can't lose if you paint the way he did. rap, but I feel like yo, if you're going against like DNA, he lost DNA. You have to pivot, boy. You don't. But it's about being originality, though. It's about originality. It's about him staying to what he. Feels like yo, I gotta deliver this message. No, I, I'm gonna fuck how y'all feel. You gotta honest. appeal I'm to your own. I'm gonna go do base. that. You I'm know what I'm saying? And I had to respect that. And, and I, I like the fact that it was a volume. So it's not like on the main stage, right. you and you know what no, the main stage they all the niggas homies is here so hard, or whatever. If spinning. you on the main stage, then you know you got some fans in there. Might have to cater yeah. to this crowd. Exactly. I'm in a volume. I might say something that's super fire. These niggas still, still ain't gonna kid. say nothing. So I gotta yeah. do what I gotta do. So I'ma just rap the way. And you're going against I DNA, NWX. And eventually, you know what's the funny thing about battles like verb and but DNA? But I've seen a better verb. No, yeah. we all seen a better verb. I've seen a fucking crazy verb. But, no, we have. But, yeah, but he was he analytically. Was just, that was probably the best verb. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. I, I didn't see this one. Analytically. Why? Nah, Why? I was a good thing. So verb was in his bag. Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, when I listen to it, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. All right, cool. We missing something. Damn. I'm going to tell you why. I didn't see it, so I'm going to tell you why. Fuck the punchlines. I'm telling you how this shit works. We have come to a point where it's nothing. Well, it's not nothing, but. But there's a lot of people who watch battle rap that know nothing about the streets. Right. And Facts. you Facts. are well, the vocal of point them. for them niggas. Understand. Absolutely. Understand. You know what I'm saying? He, I think because that was a great point. You, you know what? obviously are not a street nigga. Right, right, right. right. You That's what he said in the DNA. I'm going to double back. That's what he said in the DNA. I'm going to double back on what he said in the DNA. Obviously. And the way he broke it down was crazy. no fights. Yeah. Correct, correct. But you up here talking uh -huh. Gun about shit, every shit. one of them things. Real right. shit. That's and people are cheering for you. That's yes. a fact. Why? Why is that? Because yeah. there's a lot of majority are in jail. Come on. Or or they working. They not paying attention to the shit. So who's paying attention? 
the nerds that's online all day, mm -hmm. and you appeal you know, to the I never, you are, and, you are, and, and I'm, I'm a double when back. You that's why when I said like, I'm a double back. You know what? Niggas wasn't really listening to Verb. I was like, because when I listened back to it, I said, yo, that that was a great angle. Like you know, it was crazy. It was I saw everything, angle. bro. When when I was <laughs> the next day, I was seeing all these people like, "Yo, are you crazy? Ferb is doing it." I thought they was gelling on me. I thought they was joking. I'm like, "Yo, y'all really, nah, really playing my man?" I thought that way too because in the building, I'm to play it felt like Ferb was spitting some but bullshit. But then the eight niggas really right. start going crazy. I'm like, but think about oh, y'all wild. Now y'all really trying to joke earlier, on this right? nigga. Like, when you communicate to the kids, how do you communicate to them? On with how do you get your message? They're level. I have to beat them with it. And that Verb did not do. Okay. So no, 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 no. He wasn't talk talking to them. He wasn't he was, he he was talking to them. He was trying to talk some shit like, Yo. He was talking to those that get it. Do that. Yes, he was. He was making an angle based on trying to say, yo, DNA, you are not what you say you are. And you mm. cater to a bunch of people that are not who they say they are. Mm. Pretty much. I might have to So if you're trying to cater to was, a specific person no, and no, tell I'm, them that. I'm not DNA for doing what he does because at the end of the day, it kind of works for him. Right. It definitely works for I will applaud. Then they really lose it. Emphatically, Verb saying something, knowing that these that niggas is not going to yeah. fuck with him. Yeah, that's, and that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. They didn't even say his showtime with him. You did what I'm saying? He said his showtime and nobody they, said nothing. So he's like, okay. But they so y'all completely all against me right now. Like, I see cool. some people, I'm like, who are these people? Now, I was like, in the building, those mad battle rappers no, in the no, building. No, the volumes are very clickish. The volumes yes. are very and mad, clickish. Exactly. And so, is very So at clickish. the end of the day, he might have wrote some shit that they should applaud for, but they might not have mm -hmm. just because they are in favor of DNA. And the fact you that he's battling saying? DNA, it's not like when a chilla and a nitty battled and they're like, they're waiting to hear. Like, people are yeah, like waiting to hear. You know what you're You know what you're talking about. Yeah, you ain't know what you're talking about. DNA, it's like, crap. DNA could you give it to you and you're like, you getting it. Like, DNA giving you what you want to hear. Right. And Verb is giving you what you don't want to hear. And you have to actually go down and break down so you can really accept what he's saying. Here's the dilemma that we are facing. Verb ain't got a shot with this one, man. No, 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 no. Here's the problem. This is the problem. It's just me and you. Maybe this is the level that we'll face with once again. Jay Z, Nas. Mm. Everything. Hove takes pride in knowing that what he's saying is actually true. Okay. Nas said, "You 36 in a karate class." Tabo, Tabo, child, work it out, and niggas laughed. Yeah. But it's not true. He was, was a lot of things factually that Nas was just, I'm just snapping on you, nigga. This shit ain't really real. Jay-Z was actually like, no, nigga, everything that I'm saying, like, I, le I left condoms in the baby seat, nigga. Like, I really left condoms in the baby seat, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, that don't mean nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of people was like, Ether was so yeah, it, it was. really was though. It was. It, it really was. was. It was. You ain't gonna get no disputes. Yeah, yeah. It, was. it really was. It was. So. Hold on, hold on. He won. He won that. But reality wise, what do you think? What do you think hurt more? Like, I'm, I'm saying, saying that if I think you and I said hurt more, that you actually know I still think Ether hurt more. And to them, it's different. I think Ether hurt more because it exposed the mindset of the fans. Yeah, yeah. No, personally, personally, saying, personally, personally Ether hurts that, more Ether hurts to the more. naked ear. I don't know their personal Yeah, basically. Business. For us Even though you're trying to spit it to me, Ether's way crazy. Who, yeah, I mean, personally, Jay-Z and Nas probably, you know, when I, when, I say, when I say hurts more, I mean like to Nas or Jay-Z. No, that's what we're talking about. I'm telling you. Because the bottom line is what hurts more is if a thousand niggas call your house and be like, yo, a nigga Nas, you heard me say you Exactly. <laughs> you want the hot 97 damn man crying. Yeah. He's going to baby see like... But every nigga's like, yo, the shit you said about, oh my God. Uh, if you got a yeah. thousand niggas calling you, yeah, saying, exactly. And 50 um, niggas saying, yo, come on. Yo, yo. I read that shit about and the baby. And it's playing on the radio. Over. And everybody's and like, yo, if, if oh. niggas was to say, yo, how the hell you, man, even though you know you said all the real shit, nigga, you would have been like, You'd yo, this like, nigga, damn, no, 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 no. But, but I, I, you know what? And and I guess. So that, public perception would have been. That's where. You know what I'm saying? That's where I can appreciate what Verb is saying, but everybody might not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I, I appreciate listen to Verb and I'm like, cause we we care about what he's saying. I got B Magic coming up. Yeah, right. He gonna I punch feel your like head off. A lot of the shit. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. He gonna he's punch gonna, your head off. He's like this. gonna 
punch, he gonna punch, hit you with like what? A whole bunch of shit that ain't got nothing to do with reality. That's what you do. But in my mind, I'm like, how do I really address this? Nigga? You can't punch with him. What? Yes, you. Oh, you got. You, you can try. Yo, man. Yo, man. Niggas say you can't punch with him. I run around to show everybody you can fuck, go punch with him. People, 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 I'm just saying from what people are saying. Have, have, have you ever saw me versus Ill Will? Yes. Okay. That was one of the best map I've ever seen. Have you ever seen me versus Chilla Jones? Yes, that was another can't one. Punch with who? No, I'm not saying you can't. But can't punch people are going to look at it. I'm like, just saying. Can't be punch magic. Who? Is, who's be magic? A one trick pony? Thank you. I work. <laughs> Come on, Thank you. Mm. Now, 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 the dilemma that I'm faced with is: Do I play his, his game? game, or do I say something I it actually gotta be feel? Half and half. Look, three rounds the, the thing is this: game. you gotta give this them. Is this you, is this weekend. Say, you gotta give them what they're <laughs> looking for. for yeah, the got, you gotta Saint give Louis. Him, The thing is this: you gotta give them a little bit of what he do, and then you gotta give them the shit that he can't do. That's mm. the key to beating a nigga. Oh, right. Yeah. And anybody you battle with, you give them what they do. But see, that's what to I show them like, that you can beat them at their game. I feel like Verb was missing. I get it. Doing what DNA That's why I can respect Like, you can okay. do what you okay. do. But you got to give them what he can do a little you bit. You got to build them You got to show a nigga that the shit you do ain't really that complicated because I can do it before. I did it before you and I could do it better than you, right. but you can't do what I could do. I'm going to walk you where you at and say, yeah, I'm going to give you these punches. And you're going to say all this shit. I'm still mad that he said the punchline about me about four years ago. Oh, I was doing that. No, I was doing it too. You said that. Right, you were in the building. You got to get him for me. He said he was. Yeah, I was there. And everybody was looking at my song. I was there. What did he say? He said some shit about my lips. Something about my What did he say about no extra lip like my song? It was a good bar. It was a good bar. Yeah. Listen, what is a good bar? You can't take that in favor of the I don't better rap no more, but you got to get them because you might get them. I can guarantee you there are over a thousand math bars, bro. Yeah, but it's good. What I'm trying to say is the, the key to it is when you battle rapping, you you know what a nigga going to do. Mm -hmm. Right. You just take him out of his element because I'm going to do what you do before you do. And then I'm going to do the shit that I do that you can't even do. Mm. And then nigga right. like, damn, what do I do now? It's like the same shit with Eminem when he battled in, in Eight Mile. He took all the shit that you had to give him and said, "Okay, now I'm gonna do this." And nigga didn't want to rap anymore because like this nigga yeah. just completed like, what, something. What can I say? Because we know B Mac gonna give you a bunch of punchlines, right. and he gonna give you a bunch of punchlines. He gonna say this and that. But then when you do that, and then you walk him through that real shit, after you did what he did, you gonna be like, "Oh shit!" They're gonna look at you like, "Damn." Nah. Mm. Because it's different. I tell yeah, niggas, it's real. a different level. That punchline shit is cool because I can sit, I can write punchlines all yeah, day. all day. Right. But the shit that I'm going to give you, y'all niggas can't tap into that. But you, you think you, sitting it's down so, so long? You know what, you, my bad for cutting no, you. Guy, you know what is the perf perfect scenario for that, yo? I watched this shit, I want to say two weeks ago. Charlie Clips versus Twerk. Oh, Twerk. Yeah, that was a good one. Value the second yeah. round, that yeah. nigga, he just he took the whole battle shit away. Yeah. So every oh, time Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z Whitworth. Like, oh, I want my money now. Bow. It's like you pay. <laughs> I, 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 now he took you know that whole saying, shit what away you from do now? Yeah. Like, I, Twerk didn't even want to say bow in his next <laughs> round. When he exactly. said bow, it kind of took. It took like, like damn. So nigga this nigga, like, oh. this nigga kind of like. But 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 that's a style of battle rap that I feel like is faded now. No, but you can't. It don't fade, nigga. Listen to me. Real is real in China. It's gonna be real for a thousand years. Real classic shit. is classic. Classic nigga, is they're classic. They're gonna play. Nigga. They're gonna play fucking um, Jay Z forever. They're yeah, gonna play right, right. Long and Hill forever. I don't give a fuck. Forever. Some of these niggas got good rhymes. Well, you gonna hear them? Bro, but Lauren Hill for the next seventy. I don't give a fuck. She never gonna get boring. It's never yeah. gonna get boring because right. that shit is classic. It's and it's, she's a, it's a real. It's a that shit is real. Yo, when that's I what left, grab man. onto your soul that's real. that nobody can do. And that's what I right. think. Like when you look at even with you and Doe's battle, when you look at this shit with you and Hollow battle, Thank the you. shit that's you said, my say. nigga, that shit is like the shit with Calico and 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 um fucking Lux. Lux. Yeah. That shit is just yeah. it pops is some lost nigga. I don't give a fuck with it's a lost nigga. Those boys, that, 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 that nigga, that got me into this culture. I don't what a nigga said to you. That, 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 right when you there. Look, when you look at that with Verb, right nigga, Verb had a look in his eye that was just like, he was laughing right. at that nigga like, yeah. 
Yeah, nigga. He, 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 he just knew it was nothing you could do yeah. with me. That's how you talk to your son. Yeah. That's like yeah, he that's, 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 that's something that's gonna so last good. forever. Calico forever. is like, Calico can't even deny like that shit was just another level of battle. Yes. Like when when niggas talking about like you said my freestyle is just I don't yeah, give a fuck. Nah, that yeah, shit was real. It's going. We it's needed going, that. It's just going. We needed that. that. I think it's we was gonna be that. Right. Because, I think we was at Baltimore because or something. When I said we that, asked you to spit that again, like we like I don't I'm remember. You remember you, we was at Baltimore. We was like, yo, we want to hear the you know, facts. I don't care, man. I said, my <laughs> son, give us the facts. Yes. And the crowd was like, yes. We need this for our because soul, my nigga. It's, it's, it's some shit that you feel because it's so in right. tune with who you are and it's so real that anybody, don't matter where they hear it, is gonna resonate. And that's what I think is missing from a lot of these battles, yeah, man. Yeah, facts. There's a lot of battles. Niggas got good bars. It's, there's no But no it's substance. no shit Nothing. that's going to grab it. No it's no shit that you're going to take home. Yo, like, my bad. A nigga came to me and said, yo, I don't know, was it you? Somebody said, yo, my son, I was with my man the other day, and I was in jail. Was it you? I don't that know. was me. And he just yeah, told me, facts. he said, he gave me your, your whole rhyme bar for bar. In the rec yard. In the rec yard. This is seven minute rhyme. Nigga say he gave me. No, that shit like, was the real That's nigga. what a nigga. nigga when you, when like, you touch a nigga like that, that I don't give a fuck what a nigga say, nigga. You etched in, you etched in history. Facts. Right. So whenever I make rhymes, I'm trying to emulate that. Even if I don't, my goal is like, nigga, I, I can't go right. below Lower. that Lower bar. Down. This level. That, because right. you know where you've reached already. You know that you've reached a level of icon status that I don't give a fuck. My highest battle. These niggas have never reached that. Right. So every time I step on that stage, I got to give them some, my goal. Even if it don't mi- match that, yeah. and they say like it really wasn't, but my goal is always to reach that status. Facts. Because these niggas ain't doing that no more. They just giving you punchlines. You yep, like, oh yep, that shit yep. was cool. Oh, and you forget about it's it. The memorable. next nigga that can come with the next punchline, you like, oh that shit was cool. Nigga, the shit that we do in battle rap and the shit we do in music, period. Is we come from an era is where you wanted to edge your money. You wanted to carve your name in a nigga chest. Right. They I, don't want to do that no we're more. We're removing the philosophy. Yeah. But yeah. you got to realize because too that niggas battle rap it, now we're, people we're just, are no growing sense. up trying to adjust and learn to do that. Right? Mm. You guys are rapping because this is you. But even when rappers, you do it. When you yeah, hear you, you like, when I listen to you, bro, it's still a substance. Money, you trying to, you that trying to you call your name to my chest. That her, shit you Farrell said to her was, was crazy. That's like, why yeah, you body up, crazy. but that's something people can Farrell go back and good. watch. Farrell because was it was too. true. Yeah, it's right. like, yo, you talk to her <laughs> about her life, my nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. No, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, no, you talk about how about being a real woman. Like, not just it. selling right. your body. It was not true, just being this, that, and the third. But I also perform it, performed it in a way that they will understand. Right? right. It's like, all right, y'all want to hear me tell her the truth in a way that is a reaction? All right, cool. I got you. Right um, But, I mean, I feel like, even, even myself, yourself, I feel like we come from a place where we rap because it's part of the DNA or the way to express our emotional feelings. Mm. And that's why sometimes when Matt, when Matt is spitting with his hands, like you can feel the emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm doing the third round, like how could you be this type of bitch? I'm spitting from emotion Facts. and right. that, that freestyle. You're yeah, that's from your emotion. transitions on another now, way. A lot from of somewhere. new battle rappers are coming from, well, Damn. this guy's <laughs> popular. So that's what I gotta do. He's getting like a lot of clout or whatever. You know, I want to do that too. And they're following like a, a, a step-by-step yeah. blueprint, which is why we're getting a lot of the bigger nines. and Because the, they're the looking for crowd movements. reaction. Exactly. We like, want the crowd to react. Crowd reaction. Yes. Like, yo, like bro, like I, like I know girls that just, just like just do, Google shit. Do you, though? Yeah. Like, you just... Yeah. Like, kill my vibe, yeah. bro. Because a lot of people like, want to impress the crowd. People don't want to just like, be people rapping will and Google not get reaction. football teams. Yes, right. yes, and then look they have it up. nothing it's, to know it's about it. To do with this. Like, they they ain't lived it. They ain't grow up like, in it. None I of that shit. I don't rap about football because I don't naturally watch that shit all day, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I, like, that's why since some some girls watch sports, which is great, but a lot of these girls, when I hear the sports lines, like, I'll ask that them some shit later. Did a nigga write that for you? No like, oh yo, man, you seen that shit last night? The game. <laughs> they don't know what the fuck I'm talking yeah. about. Surf wrote that. Oh, Facts. whoever wrote that. Oh, that shit crazy. Come on, stop doing Speak. that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, 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 o
You know what's crazy? I gotta ask this question, man. Because you know what's funny? The first time we ever saw that, somebody said, you know, somebody ghost wrote for Surf was you saying that Adi Boom ghost wrote for Surf. I just recently asked really? Surf that question not right. too long ago. And Surf just gave me the. He didn't even answer. He's like, oh, come on, man. Like, all the shit I've done in my career, like, are you just gonna question, you gonna question that? And right. I'm like, all right. <coughs> You know, I'm gonna leave Wait, it at that. You, but you, you, you actually, um, what, you go what's your relationship with Surf? with Surf at this point? Right now, yeah. all this time thing I dig in my career, you gonna ask me that? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> we just wanna know if you goes with Surf. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's see if that nigga gonna step out the field, man. Step outside. We gonna, we could talk about it. Outside. Oh, oh, he said, "Come outside, <laughs> Surf." He said, "He outside, yeah. Surf." Yeah. Surf. Yeah. Sir, no, let, let me tell you some verse here. I fuck with Surf. Surf is one of my favorite battle rappers. Right. Because he make music that's dope. Yeah. Like, yeah. I listen to his mixtape. That Facts. shit is like one of my favorite mixtapes. Even mixtape. he has one of the listen. best freestyles ever. I listen to that shit when I call. Surf is the reason why I went to I-95. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I, I see Surf up there. Okay, I can go up there. It's a credible station. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Surf went there. Uh-huh. And I went there. And put crazy numbers out there. But the bottom line is Surf. I want to see you, this man. Man yeah, that did his nah. time. Right. Honorable, he came home. He got the eye of the tiger. He said he want niggas to come outside. He's not going to do it. Man. Now, Surf, Surf says it's a long list I'm right now. I'm going to tell you why. I'm tell you why. Surf, no, Surf is a different. Surf knows no, the Surf. power. Man, just coming home. He's just saying. 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 He's I wouldn't battle you. Sir! Look <laughs> at me. I mean, I mean that nigga right for you. Sir, that nigga right for you. Fuck that writing shit. Fuck uh, that writing shit. Okay. okay. Tell that nigga step outside though, my nigga. You like, said he outside. Shit, like, uh-huh. like, you cause past the well, past the rumors, he said other shit Word. that we gotta holler at each other about. Uh, you right. know what I'm saying? So it, it gets deeper outside, than sure. like, like if if sure, I did, or if outside, I didn't, sure. you feel me? Yeah, the niggas are great. A great Yo, he writer. Outside, my He's a yeah, great outside. writer. Great performer. Great performer. Great. He great outside. Outside. Yes. What a top that, most viewed nigga I out there. Right. But all that, who gives a fuck? Not me. That's they business. You mm. feel me? That's what they got to sell. Sell y'all tickets. I will fuck that nigga up, my nigga. He's trying to see you in the yard, nigga. He's sitting in the yard, sir. Come in the yard, nigga. Come in the yard. Cause you know you ain't showing up to nobody else. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. But yo, Adi Boom, yo. I was gonna say. Yo, as far real as shit, as I as might as get the surf battle before all of y'all. That's a fact. No, real shit. No, no, no. You got, you're actually <laughs> saying I'm something that's factual. Absolutely. That's absolutely. Oh, the next, factual. the next joint. Okay. You okay. have been giving y'all a little heads up right now. He, he would definitely. You know what I'm saying? Royalty yeah, part two. Because <laughs> he doesn't. He, I, do, he doesn't respond to pressure. Everyone wants you to know battle. what it is with son. He he's a he he's a great uh, uh, artist. Smart. Yeah, he's a great artist. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna carry his artistry to battle rap. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. There's, there's a difference between being a great artist and just having the survival tactics of a cockroach. Do you think so? Cause sir, niggas sir, a great sir, artist. Sir, I can't hold you, my nigga. Niggas, or he just making he the know, right decisions. He know what he's doing, no, my no, nigga. Because when I talk to Sir, I know it sounds like he's situation. it sounds like he's like you know he's kind of really like breaking it down to where it makes no, the no, best. No, no, he just chose like, three dollars. Let's be honest. He said that's only because be he had honest. to battle chess. And I mean, he had to battle rock, uh, but, with but, rock. But, but, and then but he, let's he, be honest. He owed URL the money. Let's, so why battle the good when I can get 30000 I'm going to battle Reed for the same low price so right, I don't have to get a, a top. He said me and John John do a mega battle. Well, I don't want to waste a battle like that on the value. And he's the only battle rapper that anybody would accept that from. If I, Mook I, got up there and said, I'm going to battle Reed. Niggas would have hung him for it. You think he chose Reed? No, I think he, he said. I don't he think gave he chose Reed. Reed. I think, I think he, he picked Reed because no. he's like, you know what? Reed's a name I want. That's what he said verbatim. He said, he said Reed is a name I want my verb. Yeah. 
But I, I want him for my resume. Reed's because a good name for my resume. They they give you like for, he said for instance, for, 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 for the price say, that I'm getting paid. Math, Reed I'm makes give sense. You Twenty racks for full battles. They just gonna tell you twenty who racks battle. for four battles. That's not good. Uh, nah, look, like, I'm just. <laughs> he just, I'm, just throwing it out there. Just no, oh, I'm giving you a hundred racks. I'll give you a, for four battles. Yeah, a, no, yeah, whatever. A hundred <laughs> racks, for the million racks, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm back in the game. Man. <laughs> 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 I'm about to get back in the game. Whatever, man. Yeah, like right. whatever it is. Um, it, I think they're doing that because um, a couple people told me that they got something similar to that. Like. Ten thousand for two battles, but then they not telling you who's who the you battle. battling. Yeah. So then they'll tell you, all right, next week you got poo putt. Like what? Hey, <laughs> I already said like the ten thousand, no, and you passed me that. poo putt. Don't, don't believe that. Not, he, yeah, he don't, definitely has I'm not say, doing nothing like that. So they probably gave him like fifty bands. Who he's battling? He has a say. Yeah, of course. Of course. I think when they gave him Reed, he said, you know what, for a small room value, that makes sense. For a small room, I can smoke him. I don't got to write three rounds. I don't got to complete three rounds. (laughs) I should be okay with this. This should be an easy walk for me. But for his legacy... I understand why that was a stupid... Like, Isn't that, that hard to remember, remember all y'all understand why Mook takes offense to him saying that he's the new murder Mook? Yeah. Because we've never like seen oh, he's the bigger Mook name. show up unprepared. Yeah. yeah. We've never seen and Mook him said that, yeah. skip around. Yeah, We've yeah, never Mook seen him. Around. You know what I mean? Like, Mook could give you nah, 20 minutes worth of rap without him. 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 Yeah, yeah, but they, they but, can do two rounds, can two and a half also, rounds. You can also paint a narrative, like yeah, that's not that's not a problem. Well, I think Hollow had a strong fan base. But you came with that real shit. Even his. Oh no, no, don't believe that, my nigga. They was they was hating me for months. Nah, but they started. <laughs> when I battled Clips, they started. Nobody in that, that building wanted to cheer, yeah, bro. I was a, a, a fan of both of y'all, but I look at him now. You, now you, bro, you, you heard you, his. You fan go back and watch that Clips battle. No, I'm talking about Clips and Hollow. You, you, you heard Niggas Hollow wanted me to lose yeah. just because did. of what happened with Yeah, but Hollow, still, bro. you still affected You still affected him. You right. did. That's why they wanted you to lose, that, that, That's just me. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> you the most hated. <laughs> I'm going to just rock. <laughs> see, but that's what I'm saying. 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 They fickle like motherfuckers. Because right. when you up, you all the way up. Hell but yeah. When you, when you down, down it's I literally you. seen people in the building that day have on LOM sweaters. And when that happened, was like, damn. Take it off. I thought you took it off, you little bitch you nigga. Really? Right. Ride with your nigga, bitch. No, that's corny. Yes, I think that's 100% corny. But that's what we dealing with. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Like, if you went in there wearing that, you better Lee wear that shit. But yeah. well, Hollow's still, still in my you top five. You better wear that you know shit. Well, no, he's you know. definitely in my no, top five. I, I, I think I, I, he's in my I, top five. Personally, I think him and Danny is very debatable. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. see it that battle yet. That, that what you like? I, I, I think you know. Yeah, I, like, I like Danny Third. Like Danny happened. Third was really like when he was talking about his life and shit. I like Danny's. Danny yeah, cried. Danny Third was crazy. Like he cried. People don't understand why Danny. Why people like Danny? I hear that a lot. Like you don't, you don't like, understand why people like Danny? I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I said, Yo, I, was, I, was, Danny, I hear I, a lot I, of feedback. I, I, I can't give Danny a people pass for that People tell me, like, fuck. why the fuck do people like Danny? <laughs> like, I, I can't I give know. Danny a pass, pass for that third. He's like a weirdo. Like, he be saying weird shit. Like, it, it's, battle rap is, <laughs> is, is partly manipulation. You thought it was sympathetic? Like, he was trying to get a sympathy round? That was definitely... A sympathy round, it worked. Well, and even Hollow was there. I don't even feel like, like dissing you because. Like, what did he say? What did he say? He was talking about his family. He, he, said, his, um, he kids, said the reason he been choking. Yeah, because his kids is because was he wasn't worried about being champion of the year. He was trying to take care of his, his, his father. Kids, yeah. father, father, father of the year. Yeah. yeah. But in, in reality, you're like, nah, <laughs> Danny. Nah, that's what you talking about. Nah, 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 I'm gonna say I'll my kids. Yeah, my kids is sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come on, son. Like, 
You know what yeah. I mean? Like, well, you you had kids. Uh, you no, had, no, you no, had no, a daughter. I, I your daughter you right. born. No, then, but then you got to I had a whole daughter missing for nine years, and nobody gave a fuck that I was choking in battles over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, it is what it I, is. I, I didn't see the battle, so I didn't see it. Damn. Well, now, you gotta see it. That's a good battle. Damn, you gotta see it. Okay. Damn, you gotta see it. So, my son, is there any amount of money that would make you come back to battle rap? I don't know. A mill. We got, we got you. I don't, I don't <laughs> think money can be the only Money can't be the, the motivation. It, can't be the, it gotta right. be, it gotta be the, the proper. You know, maybe a phone adversary. Okay. You'd it, rather battle mainstream artists? I don't. I don't know if it's mainstream. It got to be somebody that I feel like I'm gonna, gonna put me in a position where I like. Okay, this is serious for me. Yeah. How right. about a guy like? Uh, games. Just to say, <laughs> like, no, no, no. Like, like uh, I know, I know. This has had been a somewhat personal, or somewhat yeah. whatever. But like uh, Troy Ab, like if he was to do I, something like that, I don't because the message I you were saying. Somebody that I don't agree as a man. We okay. never, we never spoke about this. I'm not. I promise. Listen. Out of respect, yeah. The brother of the person who was killed is my best friend, one of my close friends. Shout and, out to um, Trife. Shout out to Trife. And I gave him my word that I'm not even talking about this. Okay. Anymore. All right. Especially to after the trial and everything. So I'm okay. not even. I gave him my word on that. So. Okay. I'm not even going to talk about that. All right. But as far as like battling, it would have to be something that would make you actually have a message me, to make, send. It got to make me make feel like okay. I want to battle you. Like I got to get up for you. I got to respect you enough. I got to feel like it makes enough sense for me. I don't see a real scenario where it happens because it's like because it, it would take. Yeah, it, I don't. I mean, I guess I don't. Battle rap take a lot out of people from what I see. It does. Man. It takes like, a fucking lot. And then you you, you so it. known, so people could have a whole bunch of shit to talk yes. to you about. Yeah. Whatever. I'm always. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be at a perk for you. I'm, exactly. You know a mean? nigga. It's easy when for it's, a nigga to get up to me. It's an equal amount of exactly. information out there. Exactly. It's it's right. very. That's what I'm saying. It's like a lot. It's very hard for me to find somebody. I think that's what that's what the P like like the the up and comers they don't understand that. Nah. When you calling out a vet, it's like <laughs> you got ammo for this thing. I'm like, bro, I've you. been around ten years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You got, got so much shit to talk about. <laughs> Nobody knows who the fuck you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I kill math. I know exactly what to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, where the fuck is this nigga from? Who knows yeah, this yeah, nigga? Yeah. Anybody yeah. know yeah. this nigga? Yeah. This is gonna come outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna lie. It was hard. It was kind of hard for me to write for a fisherman. Wow. Because she's very uninteresting mm. to me. But she's nice, though. She's she fire. can rap. She's nice. That's the only thing that motivates me. I'm like, right, I just yeah, can't die. Can yeah, That's yeah, all yeah, I right. need to do. Right. Just she don't come fucking crazy. die. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but it's like, gumbar, 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 yeah. no substance, gumbar, gumbar. I have a gun. I'm going to do the twerk. I'm going to move around. You know? <laughs> so it's like, all right, cool. So I just got to like, just rap. All you right, know, cool. It's not very interesting. We kind of end up on this conversation almost every episode where we just have to decide this is is this the death of the philosophers and an emergence of WWE mm-hmm. yeah the game changer I think it been well, WWE yeah. for a long time it's, it's been you know, WWE I, I hold you. when I, I when think I left actually when I left had a lot to do with that yo when I think when I left it. I was watching real battle rap when I came back I, I spent about two hours watching. I'm like, yeah, flick. That shit was. I I, I couldn't watch a whole three round battle. Right. It was no like I'm no bullshit. I ain't gassing you, my nigga, because you right there, my nigga. You versus Hollow was the battle. I was like, yo, it was, it this shit feel like a real, real battle. battle. Yeah. But then it's perspective. Yeah. Like, oh, it's what time. you think about you can tell it. Like that. You know, it's some it's real it's animosity. You know? It's but real. It's not, you know what I mean? But, but at the end of the day, it's like there's a certain level where you feel like what these people are saying in this battle reflects to how I look at life, my yeah. morals, my things. Yeah, that's a fan. So many levels. But then again, it's your perspective. It's your life, your morals. You right. say, yo, you ain't never see this battle, bro. You got to watch this shit. Bro, that shit came out last year. I'm like, yo, you, uh, what I say? I was like, yo, you ever seen, uh, I said, you ever seen Lux versus Young Miles? They never battled, bro. I'm like, yo, That's get so off old. my timeline, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Like, real drugs. Like, come on, my nigga. Yeah, you miss. Like, you feel me? Like, you, 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 you tell me I'm missing shit. The essence of You missed the whole essence of the whole game, bro. You don't even know where this shit came from. Damn, I don't want to let us sound, though. I, I gotta just say it. I, I don't want to let us sound like, like oh, oh, your young whippersnappers. Yeah. You don't know uh, what but happened dude, back in the day. Educate yourself. Yo, I ain't gonna step gonna in the streets if I ain't gonna like educate that. myself. It's, gonna, it's, it's like the music. It's like yeah. the music. Educate My grandfather's yourself. like, what is this rap shit? This shit yeah. has no substance. That's we like Richard like, Quan going on the stage. Who is the shit? Biggie Bars, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Educate yourself. Yeah, homeboy going on the stage. Richard Quan going there. You don't even know Biggie shit. Yeah, it's like, come on. Educate yourself. If if this is your profession, educate yourself. Yeah, for real. Here we are saying he should educate himself. Why he's a oh, fucking he's, millionaire. Yeah, he's a star. He don't got to do but, shit. Yo, he's nah, a star he in got, his job. Yeah, we, star, like, we stars in our area, though. So right. it's like, yeah. we educated ourselves to get here. So why can't you do that? He and don't then, have to. Nah, you have no, to, no, you I'm have talking to. about. Nah, not, not, not rich homie Kwan. You have to. I'm talking have about but, but these who? new niggas. But hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to tell you what. For the purest. For the most black he caught over that shit. Yeah, he got a lot of black. Yes. He caught a lot of black. What else have you heard? Yeah, I know rich homie Kwan shit from rich homie Kwan. Ever since then, I ain't heard no rich homie Kwan. I ain't really heard no So don't disrespect Biggie. You're right. Don't disrespect Biggie or the greats. That's how you got to talk. You got to pay attention. Biggie is God. But I still Niggas like Hov and Nas are still around that. It'll still it. be like, yo, you I don't wildin'. know if that's what did it. I know it contributed to it. Right. I know after that, niggas was like, oh, we don't fuck with him anyway. Yeah, we like, come on, come him on. Now, we definitely ain't fuck with him. <laughs> but I think come his on. crowd, his crowd didn't but, know Big E either. Let me tell you what the difference is. Let me tell you why I don't agree with you. Because the sound he got is what all these new niggas got come out. Yeah. Right. As a bunch of niggas came out with his same style and they just said, fuck him. Yeah. That well, that's makes the game. sense to me. That's right. the game. And the thing is, he still had a lane. Like, the same shit that R- Rowdy Rich and them <laughs> niggas doing, he was doing. Yes. You, the same you, shit that Young Thug, he, that was his man. Yeah, that was yes. Like, you wait, know, how you just completely disappeared? You know what's funny? I had completely? A, now you I fucked had a up. Don't disrespect Biggie. I had a conversation. <laughs> I don't disrespect Biggie. I, I had a conversation with a mortal technique. Mm. That's my guy. And He's he a said, movie. math. I like doing this voice. He does math. math. Yeah, He's very serious too. Very intense. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. <laughs> you can either do what's popular and follow the trend. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's now, how you This is what's too. gonna happen. You can make a lot of money. However, uh huh. <laughs> they're not fans of you. No, nope. they're, not they're fans, fans of what of you do. The trend. Trend. trend, yes. So when the next guy comes along, yes. and the he does the trend a little better. You're out the What J. Cole yeah. say, 1987, I uh, arrived. He said he gave these little niggas all the blueprint. Right. Y'all niggas ain't gonna be here after this shit. Or you can be authentic. Yes. Yeah. And the people that love you always will love, love you forever. Yes. yes. That's the, I tell Come you, on. that's the blueprint. Come that's on, that's the truth. The technique thrives at what he Because it's going to be a little ill. Little is a, little 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 is a little real close little friend of mine. He like, thrives. That's my guy. Yeah, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we, we talk like all the time. He called me. like He'll DM me like, my, what do you really think about this? And we go back and forth. We debate about shit. Yeah. Mm. He's one of the most strong. His opinion is his opinion. Don't get fucked. Who agree or not? He, he's very That's headstrong it when it comes Listen to his Listen to me, opinion. his music That's is, that nigga got a loyal fan base that will die for what yes, he does. Yes, I know He's this. the type of person who does research before yes. he writes a song. Nah, he's very intelligent. Yeah. That, and, that, nigga, intelligent. That, nigga, that, nigga, that nigga historical, he be like, in the 60s, in the 1920s, this, I'm like, yo, how the fuck do you know all yeah, this? got the motor? stats. That nigga be having a stat. He break this shit <laughs> down to you. Like, yeah. we've been on panels, yeah. we've done everything yeah. that you can name. Hit you with the facts. We're part of yeah. Justice League together, that nigga that brought, Fire. taught me shit, and I'm like, damn. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Well, yeah. we gotta yeah. salute yeah. you too, my to son. Around. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm saying those are good people to be around. Of course. Yeah. I always want people, I, you know, iron shop is iron and steel shop is steel. Like, I always mm-hmm. wanna be around people. That know more than me. I don't want right. to be around you if you don't know more than me. Right. Right. Unless it's somebody that care about you, then I'm, I'm, I'm teaching you as we come along. But for the most part, I want to be around people that are more educated right. than me, right. that have more experience than me, that can give me something that I can evolve with. You know right. what I'm saying? So, and, and we got to salute you because, you know, I'm one of the people that, like, when I seen you do, like, certain things, like, I'm not a racist, the remix and shit like that, it's like, okay, finally. You know what I'm saying? So, so, salute to Jordan Lucas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, yes, we need somebody who's going to give us that real, like, yo, okay, 
Yes, there's a whole nother side that don't agree with all that shit y'all talking, but we need somebody to speak for us. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you've taken the mantle, whether people come at you or not, Million Man March, like, that was the first time I actually seen you, like, yo, this my song's on a whole different type of situation. He ain't just a street rapper or a gangster rapper or whatever, yeah. whatever. He actually got some shit to say. And years after years, you've been showing that you're standing up for what's real, like, to you. You know what I'm saying? And yes. a lot of people have been following that trend. What gives you the courage to stand on your shit, even though people could say, you know, the conscious community dying, or, you know, this ain't, you know, popular at the time, or, yo, you're a radical, you know what I'm saying, and things yeah. like that. But stand on it. Either way, you go to Brooklyn while the dudes are screaming and they ain't got no heat in the jails, and you out there in the streets and you actually doing this shit. Right. What gives you like that strength to ground. keep going, knowing that, yo, they could Malcolm X you or Martin Luther King you or whatever, because... They don't want to feed that situation. They don't want that shit out. They don't want you to, like you said, yo, you know, uh, politically, like, yo, who's going to stand for that? But they don't want that out. Some people have an agenda to go against that. Like, yo, you fucking up my money. We want that pipeline from whatever the prison or whatever. Like, don't don't give us no conscious or no real rap. We don't want to hear that because mm-hmm. then you might educate these dudes and we have less dudes going into jails. Right. And you taking away our money. You know, you know, you know what's funny? I go back and I listen to Public Enemy, and I don't think people understand they don't. how much shit yeah. Chuck T was saying on those records, Ooh, bro. Oh my god, crazy! On my idols, but in in today's era, you being someone who follows that cloth, mm. someone who's adopted that cloth. That's how it started, though. Being that what. Rapping like that. It wasn't right. later until it got into gangster rap, to like NWA and stuff. But Public Enemy, you mentioned them, they were kind of that was one that. Of, yeah, It was powerful. They, were, they yeah. were all kind of suicide. So, so what got you, like, what makes you stand on what you say and move how you move and not be afraid of what comes with it, especially with social media? I mean, I think, and that's what, that's what I tell people all the time, what I took from the streets was authenticity. Like, when I say it's about integrity, it's about being able to deal with you you've dealt with, stand on what you believe in, and deal with the consequences of that. So I think the elevation from that, from the streets, to this level of consciousness for me was, I'm not doing some shit because you think it's hot, or he, it's who I am. I don't give a fuck what you think about what I'm saying. Because the bottom line is, I'm gonna live or die by what I say. I'm talking about shit that I know I've studied, I've paid attention. My first entry into this shit was Trayvon Martin. I was shooting a fucking, we were doing a web series in Florida. Right. And the verdict for George Zimmerman came on the TV and I'm in my hotel room and I'm sitting there and I'm getting dressed and we're going to shoot a scene on the beach. I'm getting, my, getting dressed and I'm like, oh yeah, I know this is gonna be found guilty, I'm getting dressed. And when the minute they said this man was not, not guilty, guilty. I cried like I was five years old. Mm-hmm. And the people and, and everybody from the podcast knocking on my door, like, where you at? Where you at? What's going on? I'm like, yo, I can't believe this shit. Like, I didn't even want to, like, we had to postpone the shoot. Right. Because I was like, in so much, that was the first time I felt that level of pain. I had a, at that point, I had an 11 year old son. And I'm saying, what the fuck do I say to my son at this time? Knowing, like this, it, knowing, it, knowing this, is, this is the reality. Like, what the fuck am I going to say to him knowing that you can get killed and shot and by somebody, somebody who stalks you in an alley and nobody's going to be held accountable? I had an 11-year-old son and a fucking 5-year-old, I mean, a 2-year-old and, and one that wasn't even hit, but I had a 2-year-old son and an 11-year-old son. I'm sitting there saying, to myself, what am I supposed to say to him? What the fuck am I going to tell him right now? I don't even know what to say right now. So that shit really confused me, you know what I'm saying? And that was my first entry point into this movement. I wrote this, this spoken word shit called What Do I Say to My Sons? I shot a video for it, and that was my first entry into this. Mm. So when a nigga tell me something, it's like, oh, uh, nigga, I don't got to talk to you. Right. I, I don't got to prove nothing to you. You don't get to define me. That's the reality of the situation. You don't ha- you don't get to define me. I know that everything that I've done in my life is based on authenticity. Right. It's nigga can check my resume from kindergarten. It's authentic. I'm not here to try to prove nothing to you. I never sold out 
in music when niggas said you need to do this to sell it. Right. So I'm not going to sell out in no motherfucking political space. I'm not going to sell out in no civil rights space to sell no no records or make no money. This is who I am. Right. And win, lose, or draw, I want to die for that. So when I moved into this right. space, I was like, damn. I remember I went to, and my first march was Eric Gardner. Eric Gardner, I, went to, I was teaching in a school. I was teaching in a, in a, in a um, detention center. We, I was teaching them how to use music as an alternative to violence. And, and, and over the last week, it's like somebody called us like, yo, Aragona, did you hear what happened? The, right after we left the detention center, we went to a march. It was over 100,000 people. We called for a march. Over 100,000 people came to Times Square. And I sat around, I looked at all these people and said, this is what I need to be doing in my life. The rest of that shit is cool, but this is where I'm comfortable with it. So, so when a nigga say it's, it's it's real for me, it's it's the natural evolution for me. It's what every quote unquote gangster from the street is going to, supposed to evolve into. When you don't know anything, the energy is moved into negativity. When somebody takes you, that's why Farrakhan built the whole NOI off of that. Right. He he took those same people with that same energy and, and educated them, and they said, "Oh shit." They say, come together. Come together with that Should same anything energy. anything happen to any of us, we protect each other. And we're going to use that same energy that you was out there against your brother, and we're going to yeah. use it against every adversary we got. That's why. So I know what this shit is about. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? And I said to myself, that's the energy I come from. I know, nigga, when I, even when I was doing dirt in the street, it, my, my moral compass didn't fit that. So what's your FOI? My FOI is kings raising kings. So raise, um, kings stop killing kings because we all kings. Fine. That's the the movement Facts. I'm building. Like I'm, not, if I kill you, mm -hmm. I'm a sucker because mm -hmm. we dealing with the same strategy. We dealing with right. the same fucking adversaries. Mm -hmm. We dealing with the yeah, same struggles the every same day. Shit. We on the same block fighting over the same nah, block that lost. somebody told us we lost. that we need to fight over. They gave us crumbs doing the middle of the street yeah. and we fighting, we fighting over, over that. that. So yeah. I identify with we that. making ourselves so the when enemy I for no you reason. Would say it, my nigga. I'm not your enemy. Yeah. Me and you look like each other. We fighting mm -hmm. over some shit. When they got everything, when we unite and we come back for what we supposed to get, the 40 acres of mule we supposed to get, mm -hmm. and we start building that, then it's going to make sense. So that's my mindset. Look, I'm, I'm educating you. I'm uniting you. I'm molding you. I'm teaching you within your own ignorance because I know you're ignorant because mm -hmm. you don't know nothing. You I'm don't not, I don't expect you to know what you don't know. I'm trying to teach you what you. I'm trying to teach you what you don't know within the shit you don't know. You know how tough that is, though, because you look at uh, guys like Huey Newton who got killed by his own people trying to stop that's them. Part of, look, that's part. You of know that. what I'm saying? We or gonna Nipsey, die, part of, we, or Nipsey, we all gonna die. Or Nipsey in his own neighborhood getting me. killed by. You know what I'm Everybody saying? Everybody ain't gonna live forever, my nigga. But, yeah, but the problem the is, question. what do you? What are you willing to die for? Or when? I don't care what. Don't listen, what if I die willing? on what I stand on, I don't give a fuck about that. If I walk out there right now. And a nigga say, yo, he died on what he stand on. Every message I give, because look at it. Yeah. Niggas, and, niggas argue whether he is a legend or not. Nigga, when you a legend, when your life supersedes your death. Nah, yeah, right? he's super legend. The bottom line is, legacy. when niggas start yeah, Googling legacy. you after you go on and say, damn, the shit yeah, he was saying was real. Yeah, These right. kids is where they changed their life yeah. or oh, shit he well, said yep. five or six years ago that's before legendary. he was even somebody. That's, that's legendary. legendary. Nah, nah, so nah, if nah, I die right now. I know I live my life every day. You change lives. You in congruency with what it is that I represent, my nigga. Right. So I don't care. If yeah. I walk out there, I'm, I stand on what I stand you live on. live forever. You know what I'm saying? That means you're going to live forever. If I don't, then that's God's plan for me. Mm -hmm. That's right. when you see my that's shit, what, God's work. It. I'm doing God's work. Right. I, I'm doing God's work in a different... Like, I don't, I'm not going to church. Like I, had, I sit down with Farrakhan all the time. And he have conversations with me. Like I don't need that's you to fire. be me. Say that you sit down with Farrakhan? That's yeah. fire. That's one of my mentors. I don't need you to be me. I need you to be you and give the message the way you give it. Right, absolutely. Because you're going to reach more people than I can because they don't want to hear what I got to say. But yeah. they listening to you in a different fashion, fire. brother. Right. I've heard your min you have a ministry that needs to be heard. And, right. and, and I can live with that because I know I, that man motivated me. I watched that. When a nigga could say, we need a million people to come here and two million people come. Yeah. Before social media? Yeah, nah. That's different. Like, my nigga, that shit, I don't give a fuck what they trying to tell you. Yeah, nah. That shit is powerful. That's powerful. Yeah. Nigga, it, it, ain't, too, it ain't, I can't name everything. one other nigga in the world that can make one million people yeah. come nowhere. Yeah. They not doing it. Yeah. 
Because right. it's just a reality when you when you when your frequency is on a different level yeah. and you got a different purpose, they're gonna gravitate to that. Mm. So for me is continue to be authentic. I know what it is that I believe in. I don't give a fuck what you say. You say or you say. We can have a conversation, but it does not change my moral compass. It mm. doesn't change my mission. My mission is to to redirect niggas that's in impoverished communities that believe they ain't got no fucking chances to do something different. That's my mission. The right. niggas that everybody else can't speak to, I know I can speak to them. Because I've been with, through what you've been through, and I have a different ideology of what you've been through. I've been through a different mechanism. I, I can I, identify. I can identify. You can identify with me. Because I've come to you You went as, through the system. You came and got conscious. You... Now you so, walk in the walk, so and, it's like, and, and, and the bottom line, I can still identify with the shit that's going on Facts. right now. Facts. Right now, still on the street, I, to I'm real still ones. connected, nigga. Like, come on. If you want me to look, oh, so you just want to get some keys? I can get you that. But I'm going to tell you, I, when I get it, they're going to lock so you up for five years. Say my name, you get it for way right. cheaper. I'm telling you, they're going to lock you up <laughs> for 100 years, and you're going to be good for two years. You're going to be the man. Right. If that's what you're looking for, I'm not going to lie to you. So... That's what my mission is, and everybody's mission is different. We all, but I, what I think is in this movement, what I realize is, it's so many people fighting over a mantle. I'm not fighting for you, because we got different pathways to get to the same destination. That's a fact. Just if if we all realize that, if Malcolm and Martin would have sat down at a table with Huey P. and all them niggas, Man, you listen. know we would be right now. <laughs> We'd the have enemy, all, a the couple enemy states. is strategic. They know to keep us divided. Yeah, divided yeah. They, right. We good. Keep them beefing with each other. I, yo, I can't have this with conversation really, shit. but we have secret meetings with niggas that I would never sit at a meetings with. And I just sat there and call them coons and we argue back and forth. And at the end of the meeting, I'm like, damn, you got the same ideas. We just trying to get there different. Mm. Right. So I need you to help me get... Pathway. It's a different pathway. So, so when you see a guy like Steve Harvey say, yo, you got to play the game to Monique and shit like that. I, I'm still... But, does that mean that he have like, yo, listen, I know what you want to do, but me. listen. Steve Harvey yo, has man. so much relevance in this culture, right? And he has so much power. Yeah. That statement was ill-founded. Yeah. For him not to realize that statement. Like, fuck integrity. We need money. And I like, see you switch the whole shit from like, like. I had conversations. But, see, that's but, that, that's views, what, but that's But that's what I was saying views. about the youth nowadays. But that's what, kind what of it's not used. Listen to me. It's, it's, I got, a, I got, a, I got a, a, a line that I call integrity over income. Exactly, exactly. That's, that's why my I, shit. That's why I even said to Steve Harvey. My nigga, shit. your integrity right. is worth more than... You can't sit there and tell a woman that's not willing to compromise her integrity that she got to play a game. Mm -hmm. Say, don't say nothing. <laughs> Look, I want to do this. I'm Because okay. the message you're sending to the world you is like, my message, nigga. You send a message, nigga. You know she right. Don't right. tell her, oh, yeah, I get it, but no, fuck but that. But you got to play the game. You right. Don't tell right. her to play no game. That's crazy. You played that game. Don't tell her to do that. Yeah. Let you her stand on her shit. Her, she's yeah. But standing on that, but say, okay, boom, I played it, so you don't got to, and I'm going to support exactly. you. Exactly. That's yeah. it. That's it. They, they stop don't shut her down. with a lazy thing, though, right? I'm sorry? They stopped messing with him. They canceled his show because he said something about be, people being lazy. I like, that's why they The bottom line is they're going to cancel yeah, you they whenever can. you get they too can. powerful. They whenever can. a black man gets to a level that they feel like they can't control, they're going to get rid of you. Yeah. That is, you've seen that. That's until, a, until, that was Kanye's original argument. When he yeah. went to Sway, he was like, and you don't got the answer. thought he was crazy. Yeah. Niggas like, yeah, well, he, he wasn't was crazy. crazy. That's when I was with he him. Was talking. He yeah, said, yeah. you don't got the answer, he was Sway. Talking. Niggas like, yes, nah, Walt Disney was talking, though. and Steve Jobs, niggas, is here. There's a ceiling for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. I'm, I'm the reason why Nike making all these fucking... Nigga, I'm making billions of dollars. They won't let me make my own shit, though. Yeah, but in reality, yeah, that's, let's that's think crazy. about this. Let's think about this. Once you become a billionaire, you kind of have the power to affect not just a culture, but different countries. Uh, exactly. The decisions that you and make generations. can alter what happens yes. on this planet. Yes. So, now, if I'm a billionaire, so, yeah. like Elon Musk and, you and all of these guys who's changing. And you a billionaire, yeah. you a billionaire. Oh, nah. Ain't we going to be watching to see who the fuck else is on yeah. the way up? Right, right, yeah. right. And be like, I don't think this nigga going to agree with us. Yeah, you got to exactly. do it. And that's yeah. what he you said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And but that's, that's when I was it. with him when he said that. Niggas like, yo, there's not, a, there's not enough of us, well, as far as people well, of color, people of minority, that's, who's up there that, I think to that's say, similar nah, to, let him up. 
Right, right. Jay Z, right? Like, um, he always, to me, he always spreads a message yeah, that yo, you if you don't get enough money to sit with these fools, you ain't never gonna get nowhere. He says it all the time. You know, it's and crazy. on some level, I agree. But the thing is, because you could do a lot of marches, you could do a lot of. But stuff, the problem with, with J- the paper, I mean, not the problem. I hear your ideology. With the, the reality of what Jay Z does is he's trying to create other billionaires to get there. Yes. When you do those rock right. nation brunches, yes. you got a bunch of millionaires. Yeah. Multi millionaires yeah. in a building black. having conversations. And they all black, black millionaires having conversations about look. Yes. This is what we got to do to get somewhere. Yes. Right. The rest right. of these niggas. Kanye and them niggas just say, oh, you just screaming in the wind, my nigga, but you're not helping nobody to get what you got to get. You're not sitting with the other niggas saying, look, this is what I learned, right? Here. Yeah. Here, what pass I learned. Yeah. Let's pass this on, because exactly. they might not let me get through, but you might be able to sneak through, because mm-hmm. you can take the, you, the yeah, shit yeah, that yeah, I got. Right. Jay-Z is giving you know, niggas sharing, game. Yeah. Sharing like you, nigga. You, I'm you, shit. Like, right Jay-Z was telling Nip and them <laughs> niggas, okay, I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Jay-Z said, look, I'm doing this. I need you to keep me relevant where you at. Right. And we balance each other. Look, right. Jay's the one who actually made me uh, pay attention to Nip when he he did when he album. brought all the album. Yeah. and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fact. Right. And that's, that's what I'm real. That's tell real. You, if we not like, create, like, if we not create it's it's a generational like, wealth map, we are losing. That's a fact. Yeah. We not. And, and when I watch them, the Rock Nation brunches, I'm like, damn. Yeah. It's multi millionaires in one room having mm-hmm. conversations that can really completely change. This country, this world, my nigga. Imagine if the and athletes Jay, was on that though, too, because all if you look at the NBA, dead, he tried, all of these niggas are millionaires. That's but bouncing that ball. He tried to bring but, them but, but again, this this why you I, know what I'm saying? I kind of made the argument when people were saying, "Oh, Jay Z snaked um, uh, Cal Cal Kaepernick." Yeah, Cal. I was like, "Do you understand how many young black kids want to be in the NFL?" And if there's no representation or someone there that's a voice for them, they're gonna get fucked over that's just it. like Colin did. That, like, exactly. Right. You know what Who would change? Look, I tell niggas all the time, look, I was the biggest fan. Right. I was the biggest Kaepernick. We not watching football. I didn't yeah, watch I still I don't I still don't watch football. Your boycott nigga, shit. I had an argument. Me and <laughs> me and the nigga K Shine almost had a fight in the yeah, club. That's crazy. Over that. Over that, because I good. called him out when he did the NFL shit. I'm yeah. like, y'all oh, niggas did it. Oh, 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 with him and yeah. DNA, that's crazy. Yeah. For real. Right. You called this him out is real shit, that? nigga. I called him out. Me and the nigga was in star. He came up to me. I'm like, we face to face. He like, yo, I'm like, what? We face to face. I'm like, you my man, but it was it was whack shit. They right. used you against what I was doing. Mm. Right. And we had a real conversation. He's like, but I didn't know nothing. I'm like, okay, you didn't know it, but I'm not gonna not say it. Right. I don't give a fuck what it now, is. Now you do. Now you get it. So right. me and the nigga have a real conversation, boom. I'm going to war with every nigga about this. Wow. But when Kaepernick showed me that he wasn't wanting to take this to the next level. Exactly. When he showed me that he was going to take a deal, right. and you signed a non-disclosure, and you got paid. And nobody and it, knew. And nobody knew. And for eight months, you disappeared. What happened to the rest of Niggas looking for what? Niggas were fighting. We still been in fighting. the mud. We what still that? in the mud. We still in the mud. And you gave I did knock that. And you can't knock them. But, but I'm going to tell you But you, you can't knock nobody why. else. It becomes a selfish thing, too, a little because bit. Because self-preservation. No, no, I'm going to say Colin was not the reason why this whole thing started in the no, first place. It was, it was. So whatever he did, okay, my nigga, but this was about brutality. It wasn't about you having a job. But you can't get you mad. You can't, you can't utilize your voice, right? And you can't say that anybody else that don't do follow with you or go along with you is wrong if you ain't the reason. If you stop, if you, if you mute yourself, Right. In the middle of the fucking fight, we all fighting, we behind you, and then we look around like, where's Kevin? Yeah, where he at? He's gone. He gone. And then Jay-Z like, fuck, I'm going to kick pick up the manual. I'm going to the NFL. Look, we, we passed Neil, right? We passed you know, Neil. But that was the wrong thing. I'm, I'm going to tell I, you as a I, man. I, I, that about statement, actionable items. That statement. Listen, that, that statement led me to figure out what happened with Colin. Yeah. So when he said, we passed Neil, I was like, okay, why, why are we passed Neil? Oh, he signed a deal. But that no. Oh, the he signed a non-disclosure. Is, you. Oh, he can't talk about it. This is why we passed kneeling, because Colin is actually past kneeling. But what you're saying is this. You know what I'm saying? But there was a but there was a there was millions of people that were still kneeling, mm-hmm. and they followed Kaepernick, and they didn't even know what you knew. Right. So I know what you knew, so I understood what you were saying. But in hindsight, if you could have said, "Look, 
Fallon kneel for something, and now we standing for something else. So we moving, we going. Don't say we passed. The word past kneeling made you seem that you was just it's done. You was you know not just it was done. That well, you was, was never disregarding yeah. what that man did, and you didn't mean that because that never was yeah. his intention. I get it. He was with the nigga from the beginning. He told niggas we ain't going to NFL. We ain't going to the Super Bowl. We ain't doing none of that shit. We would cap. I had his jersey on. I'm raising money for him. He he sacrificed himself. So yeah. he never really meant that we we disregarded him. But that statement coupled with Nessa coming out, oh, Jay-Z did this, made it look like Jay-Z was the enemy. And they everybody jumped on that. And I'm like, they look utilized the us picture. against us, look man. At the Once picture. again. Us against it's us. Too man. many. Look, man. For we can talk about day. this shit all night. Woo! Another day. We can talk about this shit all night. <laughs> Episode, what's this, 24? I, I just want to say one thing, yo. I want to thank you, bro. Thank you, King. Yo, for real, man, you the voice of the people. Mm -hmm. And keep doing your thing. Thank you. Thank you. Everything I soaked, everything up you said, bro. Everything I soaked, everything up you said. Real talk, bro. You got a great mind. Listen, man, you got a great mind too, man. Correct, correct. You have been through it, yeah. And you got so much to offer, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Not only are you a dope artist, and dope lyricist, you got a good spirit, man. Just well, watching you, you and just feeling you feel like you just evolved. Yeah, and you're just yeah, a, yeah. a genuine individual. Just the first nah, time respect. I met you, and I don't yeah. fuck with a lot of people. Math know that. I like. Yeah. I got like three people that I fuck with. Yeah. And, 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 and yeah. We we on the same page. You know what I'm saying? So, but I fuck with you. Oh, I like you. your energy, yeah. and I listen to you. I'm like, damn, this brother is somebody that I can identify with. Yeah. You came from what I came from, and I'm just. I wish you the best, man. Oh, thank Welcome you, home. Yeah. 2020. We gonna see how these that Yo, oh. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get at me. Look. He's from that cloth, <laughs> yes, my nigga. Look, <laughs> listen to what I'm saying, Sue. He's from that cloth. You came home, nigga came home, he did five. Give him an opportunity to get Yo, some money. Geez. Listen to Yo, me. Shit. You can't he, run he from did him. Five. He did That's five. Crazy. Give that man an opportunity. That's Just crazy. give him an opportunity. He did five. We don't know how you was getting out so quick when he did five. <laughs> <laughs> he did five. Yo, man. Oh, man. But I'm, I'm going to say blue, this in closing. Blue. Educate yourself. Real Educate talk. Love yourself. yourself. Um, believe in the power that you have and never limit yourself, okay? Shout out to Carol, 23 Thin, Harlem Cuts. Harlem Cuts. Second like I said, you walk in here, you say my son name, you say Adi Boom name, uh, you say Misfit name, you're going to get $10, bro. Everybody yeah. else is fine. She the hot. That's the name okay. I would say. I, I would say Misfit every time. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a nice jersey. Shout out to Murder. Yeah. 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 And that, um, that's that soccer. This is like bars are one of one. They never made a soccer jersey until that's now. That's fine. I like that. We do. Urge. We All right, and we out. Let's Four. get it. Right in front of they see And nine out of ten niggas fucking them raw For an outfit to a show and they could party with stars Product of the fiends, prostitutes and the real killers Routes lowering down but been stacking them hill figures Aiming for the best, they know I'm claiming the spot I built with Benny last year before the deal with the rock He said I see the grinders keep doing it nigga And make the best out of every opportunity nigga Cause talent no work, that'll ruin you nigga Took that game to my pen and now I'm doing it nigga in the lab with the formula to be a shot caller. Drop jewels on wax that's better than Ben Baller. On the road all year, my nigga, I stay.